Good evening, everybody. Oh, where's my game at? There you are. Good evening, everybody. My name's Cameron, playing Graveyard Keeper. Back at it again. I've made another beautiful contribution to the cocktail community. It's not my own recipe. I shouldn't really say contribution. It's a pom-pom. It's nice and red, or at least it is now. It is... Sweet. Very sweet. And it's got no alcohol. It's a mocktail. We did something a little bit different this time. And I hope, I hope that's appreciated. I think it was pretty good. Let me adjust my chair a little bit. Fix myself. Change some angles around here. Things are always improving. We always have to improve upon our past selves or else we will never grow. And the point is to grow. Now, I've been attempting to grow for a while now. Still attempting to get all that money. Still attempting to get the money. I am about four and a half gold coins. No, no, no. No, I'm not even halfway to being an aristocrat. I am still working my bone off, but there's plenty of else, other things to do in the meantime. I don't think I'm completely, I'm completely blocked off yet. There are other things that I'm able to do in this. Uh, but along those lines, such as, uh, it's just one of those things to do is to increase the quality of my graveyard, which is kind of what I've been working on. I'm a cultist now, which means that I can actually see the effect that removing or adding an organ will have on a body before I actually get to that point. Which is, uh, it's pretty advantageous. Uh, it's something that I hope to be able to take full advantage of. Um, but in the meantime, picking up back where we left off, cooking some bread, making some, making some meat. I think I got some meat in the basement. How much meat do I have? I think I was planning on, um, I'm still awaiting for a dark, no, 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 I did do it a dark heart. No, 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 the Inquisitor told me to do something. The Inquisitor, I think I have to wait to talk to him till next time. Probably. That's probably what's going on here. I'm not exactly so sure. Because it doesn't say on here. Honestly, this game doesn't tell me what I need to do next. I am this close to completing the Inquisitor's quest line, and I don't exactly remember what it involves. But I'll, uh, I'll figure it out eventually. I am most sure that I will. Together, we will conquer. We will destroy the world. Apparently, last time I got an achievement saying that I betrayed Jerry... I don't know how he feels about that. Apparently he doesn't feel uh, feel anything at all because to be perfectly honest, he's sitting here and he's just as happy as he was before. So I guess not really, not really much of a problem. I got two bodies over here. You got a dark, dark things. Got any dark things? Got darkness in you? There's no darkness in you. Why do we even care if you don't got no darkness? That's so sad. That's so sad. I got plenty of dark things over here, but did I use up all my meat already? Did I sell the meat? I know I was keeping the meat somewhere. Is it in my inventory? Or was this really all the... Is this all the meat that I have? All the meat that I have to my name? I don't know. I don't know at all. I thought I had more meat around here somewhere. Maybe I have it in one of those other cellars. I wouldn't be surprised. I, um... I often forget where I place things. Uh, actually, just the, just the other day. Just today. I came home. And I was like, hey, Anna, can you check out my neck? It looks like I've got something going on back there. And she's like, yeah, you've got some rashing back here. It's a lot of red. Have you been scratching? I'm like, yeah, I have been scratching because I feel very itchy. And she's like, oh, well, maybe it's because, uh, are you allergic to anything? And I was like, yeah, you know what I am allergic to? I have a skin sensitivity to nickel. Nickel, as in the elements, when it's used in alloys and stuff, will cause a reaction with my skin. She's like, what about that necklace you've been wearing? And for a while... I was wearing this necklace that had a serotonin hormone on it for, like, the happy hormone. It also controls various things like aggression and diarrhea. More for your knowledge. But so, it, st it, it started off as gold. Then it became, like, an off, like, silverish gold. Uh, and then it just devolved into, like, this brown color. Kind of bronzish, kind of copperish. And now, as I looked at it, as it began to irritate my skin, I was like, oh my god, take a look at this. And lo and behold... Uh, it's beginning to, to oxidize, so it's either bronze or copper or something because it's starting to turn green, just like the, Liber uh, the Statue of Liberty in, uh, in, in New Jersey, close to New York. And so I was like, oh wow, I guess I gotta take this thing off, so I took it off immediately, realized I was having a, having a reaction to it, makes me so sad. Um, and so then I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find my old gold chain, because for a while I wore a cross with a little, baby G a little man Jesus on it, because uh, my parents raised me Catholic. I removed the cross. I keep it in a special spot in my home in memory of the faith that my parents raised me on. And But I, I started putting other things on the, the gold chain. Uh, and in particular, what I had on that gold chain was a locket that my fiance gave to me. There's no picture in it or anything. I always meant to put a picture in it, but I just, I just kind of never did. 
Um, but that I usually keep in a bag of accessories, and as it turns out, I just, I don't have, I don't know where that bag is. <laughs> I've lost the accessory bag, so I just, I just kind of need to go find it, and I will find it eventually. Um, I'm over here, trying to make things great. The trouble to put a picture in a locket is not worth it. Dude, I, I feel that. It, like, it's, it's, it's super duper small. Now, I'm usually pretty good with my hands usually pretty good with tiny things i uh i did a lot of soldering in college still do a bit of soldering today as well and so i'm usually pretty good with keeping my hands steady and doing what i need to do but to be perfectly honest i i also need a picture that that small i think for me currently the hardest part is to be to find a picture that is that small to put in the locket because i just i don't have it yet i mean final, uh, final rhapsody have you have you put a picture in a locket before? Are you speaking from experience here? So you're curious. You're curious. You had to cut yours out of a bigger picture. I guess that makes sense. Like you'd have to, you can only print things so small, uh, depending on what you got. I mean, I know Anna, what she'll usually do is she will go to Walmart and get the things uh, printed out on like uh, photo paper and whatnot. But we actually have a printer that is capable. Oh, excuse me. It's capable of printing on really, uh, on photo sheet. And I don't exactly remember what the resolution is, but I think it could probably get pretty small. Although, I haven't really checked yet. And Final Rhapsody has, and they also went to Walmart uh, to get those things printed out. That's what he did. That's pretty cool. I mean, I feel like my locket is like, oh, let's see. It's like, I'd say my locket is like the size of the butt of this, like the, the cross section of this little Sharpie. This Sharpie, it's a regularly sized Sharpie. That is the size of my locket. So it is very, very tiny. And it would take me a lot, a lot of effort. Maybe, maybe the effort. I don't know if it would be worth it to be honest, but a lot of that to be able to get that in place. Um, but I haven't considered. If I find my, like, like I said, the the locket itself and the um the gold chain that it is currently on is in a bag of accessories I have, and I don't know where that bag of accessories is. I I don't know where it is. I know it's somewhere in my bedroom, and I'm sure if I looked hard enough for it, I'd be able to find it. But I haven't been able to yet. I haven't been able to. Final Rhapsody's got 50 pictures and needed all of them. Nice. I mean, I got. I know, I think... I think what Anna will do... I don't know how many pictures she... I don't remember the last time she did a picture thing. I think she usually does them for, like, uh, like anniversary cards, birthday cards, and stuff like that. She's really, really good at that stuff. Granted, I think all we need to do now, because we have the right printer for it, is just get the proper printer paper. But I don't know where to buy the proper printer paper, to be perfectly honest. That was a lot of alliteration there. I'm actually very proud of myself that I was able to <laughs> keep up with that as I did. It was great. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't put in much of the effort. Amazon. Oh, that's true. That's a very good point. I could totally buy this from Amazon. And I am lazy. If I am lazy, oh, I am lazy. I am lazy when it comes to certain things. I am lazy in the sense that if I know that I can spend significantly less effort and a little bit of money, a relative cost, cost to, um, time cost over actual cost. If that ratio is high, then I will, or the other way around, small, low time, I don't know, whatever it is. If that ratio is high, I will probably buy it. I will, I will get it on Amazon. And I know, like, I've been hearing a lot more recently about, like, you know, the unsustainable practices and the fact that when you put that much strain on the logistics system, it doesn't really do any good. But, like, Amazon is so freaking easy for me. And I, I think of things this way. If you are going to design something that is supposed to outdo something else, you got to do a couple of things. But one of those things is you got to make it better. That's, like, the main thing. You got to make it better or you got to, like, I guess market it even harder, like the Betamax or, or the, like, the VHS over the Betamax which I don't know too much details on, but that was the big thing way back in the day. But like, you gotta make it better in some way. Uh, and, and maybe in this case, I guess the advertising could be better in that case. But like, you need to do it better somehow. And one of the ways I think to make things easiest, and actually I've been talking about this with my, uh, with my coworker as well, because the startup world, it's all about trying to like make your mark and, you know, distinguish our product before, uh, um, distinguish our product from something different that's currently out there like kind of competing with the world and one of the things you want to do is you want to make it like like the obvious answer like um like for example if you were or are you trying to make it like a household term for example like the whole to google it is like a thing now because when you search something on the web you google it or when you put a little sticky adhesive 
uh, medical bandage over top of your finger, you put on a Band-Aid. Because Band-Aid was the brand that did it. Or, like, fax machines. Xerox. I don't think anybody uses the term Xerox. But, like, you could do, like, the household term part of it. Or, you just make it the obvious answer. Like, let me th let me ask you this way. I don't, I don't know who made the QWERTY configuration on the keyboard. Um, but, like, when you get a computer, you have to get a keyboard. When you get a computer, you gotta get a mouse. Like, whoever invented the mouse and the keyboard did an amazing thing. They somehow made it so that they basically gave us as the consumer no choice but to buy them for our computers. I don't know how else I would could type onto a keyboard. I don't know how else I would put text on my screen if not for a keyboard and the layout, which I currently have is just a QWERTY keyboard with a couple of other fancy things on it. Company, companies actually hate when that happens. Yeah, for sure. Because like, if you're the company who's like, who's like got the current standard and somebody comes out right up below you, it's just like, well, what do we do about this guy? And apparently a lot of times they'll try to like buy you out. They'll try to silence you. They'll basically be like, wow, you have a really good technology here. We see something great there. We are going to buy it. And then we're not going to fund the project and it will just fade away into the ether. Oh, actually talking about becoming a household name. Companies hate that. Interesting. I would feel like, well, I guess the downside that I could see about that is that if you if you become a household name like that then like it's hard to expand into other things like if you if it becomes a household name they can lose copyright oh i didn't know about that that's an interesting point there interesting yeah because i guess if it becomes a household name then it has to become public domain uh, the uh pu public domain common domain yeah that that's that's i think that it works that is a really interesting point that I've never, I've never considered that before. Wow. Yeah, I guess there are some copyright laws at work there. Cause like you can't, you can't say like, cause like if you're Band-Aid and you made the Band-Aid and now everybody uses the term Band-Aid and you try to be like, ah, oh, you can't use the term Band-Aid. That's our word. You're gonna be like, dude, it's common vernacular now. You can't lay claim to that anymore. It has gone so far as to wean its way in to the world. And you can't take that from the world. You can't take that from the people. You can't take that away from us. We've taken your name from you. And that's how it has to be. Oh, I can... Oh, if I take out the intestines, I can make this a totally good body. Oh. As a cultist now, I know how to make bodies good. Very good. That's why new games all have like a thousand new names for races instead of just calling them, say, elves. Ah! Oh, because somebody out there copywrote the term elf, I guess? Gosh. Dastardly companies trying to take our words from us. But like, but like, elves, isn't like, is elves not, a, oh no, because they can't copyright the word, oh, I see. They can't copyright the word elf, because it is a common thing. It is a common term that's like present in like, history and stuff, I suppose. There are history books that talk, or no, no, maybe that's not history, but like, there are definitely like ancient texts out there that refer to the elves. You can't copyright an elf because there's so there's some culture behind it. There's history behind it. Culture, culture, insofar as it relates to the history of it all, I'm sure. Get some carrots in there. But I get that. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, if I. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I mean, I think of... I wonder if there's a, an easy way out there for us to determine, like, what words are in, like, the public domain, I guess. There must be a list. There's probably a website for it out there. But I feel like I have a hard time knowing, like, can I use, like, a certain image? Can I use a piece of music? Can I, can I use this stuff? Usually the answer is if you don't own it, then you can't. But it's apparently more than just the word. It's used... As generically in our uh, as generically in our culture, indeed, yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, it's just the whole like you can't if somebody's got that somebody's got that name then you can't take that from them. If we all use that stuff, that it's crazy. In one case, uh, the oh, Games Workshop from like um, Warhammer is actually awful about the oh really? They randomly changed the names of like half their factions to things like Eldari and. Astra Militarium, oh, because they don't like, like, because of like, so people can't take that from them, so they, they can copyright that and be like, ah, uh -uh, you can't use it anymore. Eldari, I guess, so those like the, is that the equivalent of like the elves? I'm not too up to snuff on my, uh, my Warhammer literacy. 
So I can't even pretend to know. I got some people. I got. I know people who are totally into that though. Indeed, they're just space elves. They're just space elves. I guess if you think about it, I guess ale. Eldari is in the A of the ether, beyond our comprehension, beyond the world. I, I guess that would mean like high. That kind of like high elves. It's like a high elf, but like like really really high, like space so high. That's crazy. I mean that is. I mean in a way, I get it. You want to protect what's yours. You want to protect, protect protect like your identity, your intellectual property, and sanction it off from other people. But like it, I I personally have a problem with it when it comes to a point where like. Like, you're being, like, too much on it. Like, like for example, like, if Games Workshop went so far, like, like the Disney route of, like, oh, you can't even put a mouse on your shirt. You can't even put three circles on a shirt without getting, like, a copyright strike or something from Disney. Like, that's, like, that's dastardly. But, like, if some, if I tried to make a shirt that said Eldari on it, like, we are the Eldari, maybe that's, like, a nickname for somebody, it'd be really, really dastardly for Games Workshop to be, like... Oh, nope, can't use that term. Can't make that shirt that you're probably only buying two of and are doing it because you have like an inside joke and you like to play games and Warhammer with your friends. Can't do that because Weekly claimed that and you can't have that. That's where I have a problem with things because I don't like when they express like that sort of strict ownership over it. They actually started copy striking all fan animations so they're kind of that bad. I do remember that. I think, um, yeah, somebody was telling me about that. The fact that they're copyright striking like the, the fan animations because like, like, you can't do that. That's This is our Warhammer. Only we have the right to to make our own stuff about it. And, like, that, to me, goes so far as to stifle your fan base. I think of it this way as well. If you are in love with a product so much that you want to take the time out of your day, the, the, the effort to be able to put something like that into the world... I guess you're kind of you're kind of stepping on toes if you decide to, like, monetize on it on and whatnot. But, like, really... If you love that, I've loved it that much to put all that effort into it. Why should we take that from you? Like that just feels so. Personally, if I was a part of a community that started getting like that for the stuff that I'm really, really into, I'd be like, I feel like it would kind of turn me off from it. I feel like what it would do is actually work against the company. I guess on the larger scale, it helps out because you know now they can control their brand with an iron fist and make sure that people don't abuse it. But, like, in a way, it's almost like they're the ones who were abusing it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I guess it's... If it's your property, you can do what you want with it. But, like, doesn't mean that I have to like it. All I'm saying is, like, if you... If, like, um... What's something that I'm really, really into? What is, what is the thing that I do a lot of? I'm trying to think of something that I do for, like... Because I really, really like a particular brand. And I really can't think... I'm not a really brand-loyal person. Like, I'll think of it this way. If somebody out there copy wrote plaid the pattern because they want to like control or whatever i i guess i'd probably stop wearing it because i'd be like wow you have gone so far as to take something that i really really like and i find as a part of like my personal identity and just like rip that from me i don't like that it feels very 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 bad i'd be very very angry about it i'm trying to i'm gonna try to think of something in the background of something like that could be copyright taken for like something that would could be taken from me Trying to think of it. Oh, you know. Hmm. Trying to think. I'm really, I'm really not into that much stuff like that, because I don't really do a lot of like fan art. I don't really do a lot of like, like stuff like that. I mean, like I've drawn pictures from like my games every once in a while, but you know, actually, yeah, I'll think of it that way. It would really suck if one of like my art streams got taken down because. Whatever game out there that I was drawing, let's say, let's let's take Nintendo for instance. I have a drawing stream where I drew Bowser Jr. from uh, just the Super Mario series, the Mario verse. And if Nintendo all of a sudden was like, "Yo, by the way, you got to take down that video because you're not allowed to draw our Bowser Jr. boy," I'd be like, "Well, that kind of sucks." And it probably wouldn't hurt me too bad the first time. I'd be like, "Yeah, you know, whatever. It's just." Just the way that it is, I get it, I understand, I'll take it down. But like, if that were to continue, ha like, if that were to continue happening, that would certainly wouldn't turn me off from doing it again. I very well might do it again. But like, if they keep on doing that to me, what that's gonna wind up doing is gonna make me be like, all right, fine, well, if you're gonna take that from me, then I'm just not gonna support your content anymore. Like, I won't buy your games. They're really, really fun, 
But like, that'll be my way of being like, you know what? You be, I mean, Nintendo kind of already does this. I think they do a lot of uh, like taking down of like the Pokemon ROMs and ROM hacks and modding and whatnot, which oftentimes takes these games, which are a little bit older and revamps them. Like, I feel like, I might be pulling this out of my ass, but I feel like I vaguely recall a really popular Pokemon ROM being taken down because uh, the, the ROM, like, improved upon the game. It improved upon the graphics. It made it more fun to play. It just, it made things a little more balanced. Or, uh, actually, maybe I'm thinking, maybe I'm thinking of the, um, Project M, which they did for Super Smash Brothers, and they balanced all the characters and whatnot. I don't know if they took that one down, but, like, I, I feel like it would be terrible to take something like that down, which... I would say it kind of improves the game. Like, what is the message that they would be trying to send out if they did that? Is the message like, don't play this game anymore. It's a terrible game. Or if you're going to play this game, you have to play our game. You have to take it, you have to take it from us and buy our new games because then you can get all the fun of this ROM hack, but you get to pay $60 more from it. It's like, if that's their mentality, I don't like it. it makes me feel not so good. I don't like that. And hopefully that's not the case. But I'm sure, I'm sure it is. For, um, it's gotta be the case. Makes me very, very sad. I mean, I very much like, I got a lot of, got a lot of history in my brain of, uh, good times with the Nintendo games. And it would like, I don't know, there's nothing, it's not like anybody's stopping me from doing it now, but like, if Nintendo did it to me personally, and I know they already do that to other creators, but if they did it to me personally, I feel really, really sad about that. I would not be very happy with that. Well, that's what I got on it. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be... Uh, if they went so far as to be like, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna straight up, like, take it away from, like, streamers. Like, what if I couldn't stream, like, Super Mario Sunshine? That would suck. I'd really not like that. I'm gonna burn this body. It's been happening with a lot of companies recently. Wizards just is just getting out of it now. Oh, as in, like, Wizards of the Coast is going and doing that now? Like, taking everybody down, or... I think they got a... They got a lot of, like, intellectual property there. Interesting. Wow, and that's, like, that's a huge thing, too. Like, Wizards of the Coast has done a lot of things. I mean, I'm not a big, like, Magic the Gathering player, but, like, they've done a lot of, like, board games that I'm really going to do. Wizards of the Coast, I'm pretty sure, did D&D. It's crazy. They they had an awful run and burnt most of their goodwill with the community, and they're only just fixing it now. Yeah, like, honestly, I mean, for, for a community like the board gamers, the card gamers, those folks, like, they got a big voice there. Like... A Magic the Gathering event is huge. Board game conventions can be huge. And when you take all those people and you piss all of them off, my goodness, the power of, like, the majority, the power of the crowd to be like, we hate the way, that, we hate the thing that you're doing here. And you suck for it. So we're going to just stop doing what you're doing. And you, your sales will suffer. And I'm guessing, taking a hot guess, that the sales suffer enough for them to be like, all right, sorry, guys. Didn't mean that. We'll make it better. We didn't mean it that way. We'll give you all your stuff back. Because, like, I don't know. There's a whole... If you want to create things, create things. And even if there is... You know what? Even if there is somebody out there, like Games Workshop, taking that shit away from you, keep a local copy of that stuff. Keep it with you. Repost it elsewhere. I feel like... I mean, I don't know what the legal repercussions are of that, but, like... If you love what you do, you just don't, don't stop doing it just because the man told you not to, so to speak. Keep on doing it. Share it through other ways. There's plenty of different ways. That you have the internet. Like, I mean, it's not like you'll be able to put it on, like, Reddit or YouTube or anything like that. But, like, there is... I mean, I don't remember off the top of my head many platforms out there to help you with this. Because I haven't looked into it much myself. But, there's an entire internet out there. There's an entire ocean out there. And if you throw your content into the message in a bottle and throw it out into the ocean, somebody's going to find it. And it'll land with people who like it. And we'll write you back for more. At least, I feel like that's that's the way that the world should work. If it doesn't already work that way. Which I hope it does. Crossing my fingers on that. Apparently, that's what happened when a bunch of people jumped to Flesh and Blood in MetaZoo. Oh, I see. Flesh and Blood's a card game that I've gotten into a little bit recently. I haven't played it a lot recently. i got a bunch of cards and whatnot. And I do enjoy playing the game with Final Rhapsody over here. When I have the opportunity to, at least. But I didn't realize that they kind of jumped ship from Wizards of the Coast and went over to Flesh and Blood. That's crazy. You still got... Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot. Um, there's, um... Just like Magic the Gathering, just like other card games out there, they do boxes every once in a while with, like, different types of, uh, different content and whatever. With different cards, new releases, and new prints of characters that you thought you knew, but now you get to see them in different lights. 
And uh, the Everfest box, I think, is the most recent one that came out. Although it's been a quite a while, so I don't know if there's been anything more recent since then. But yeah, I, lo I look forward to being able to crack the box open and see what's on the inside. I think, um, what was in the what was in this pack again? I think it was, uh, they've got bards, I think. It's got like a carnival aesthetic, I'm pretty sure. So I know there was a bard or two in there. Maybe the character, but I, the only character I really know by heart is Bravo. That's the character I play. He's a, he's a bardic figure. He's got a big old loot that he can, he can, big hammer or stuff that he can whack you with. No bards, two guardians though. I think, can't remember much about the guardians, but I think, ooh, I think the one guardian I played was like a, like an ice wizard or something. I think I remember, I don't remember the dude's name. Oh, Bravo was a guardian. Oh, silly me. Bravo was a guardian. He's my guy. He's the he's the bard guardian. I guess there are bar I guess there are bard type cards now. But Bravo was a guardian, but he seemed very charismatic. He struck me as very bard like, and that's why I liked. Bra that's why I picked Bravo. I was like, this guy seems like he's got he's got some sing songy stuff going on there, and I love that. No, still no bard cards. That makes me so sad. Oh well, he feels very bardic to me, and I like that. Shame though. It'd be cool if we could get some bards though. Be totally up my alley. Well, now let's see. Thinking about what to do next year, I've just been kind of like uh, pulling up my crop. Uh, Claw Day is coming by. When Claw Day comes by, I make some more money. I can sell all of my wine when that happens. Hopefully, uh, I can actually go to my vineyards and take some wine from there. Downward facing day is Inquisitor Day. Now that's upward facing day, so I have to wait until next week to talk to the Inquisitor again, if I can talk to the Inquisitor again. I don't remember what he told me to do, but I don't think I can stock burgers yet. Can I? Can I stock burgers? Can I stock the burgies? I'll check. I'll check up here. Usually if there are no witch burnings occurring, then I can't actually put anything down here. But if I can, I've got beer and I've got burgers and I am more than happy to provide. Yes? Nope. Can't burn no witches. Makes me sad. I'm gonna make my way to... I'll teleport to the town. And then I'll sell some things to my guy over here. I'll talk to you. You got nothing. I will talk to you. You got nothing. Looking for more quest leads. What about you, Miss Charm? Anything new? Have you ever done any marketing? Have you? Oh, I didn't know this. I was wondering if you'd like to help me. I need you to promote my company in the town. Could you tell everyone that you like graveyard veggies? That they help you stay beautiful? I'm sorry, but can't you hear can't you hear how that sounds? Graveyard veggies? Mmm, yeah. Maybe that's not the best name, but the graveyard is a sacred place, and our vegetables are really, really good. How about sacred vegetables? I can pay you. I don't need money, but I would like some jewelry. There's been nothing new in the town for so for a long for a long ago. Just old fashioned rings and earrings. I heard you're rather gifted. You decorated your church quite nicely. Maybe you could make some jewelry for me. Something with a graveyard motif, and I'll promote your company. Plus, if your jewelry is any good, I can sell a lot of it in the town. Okay. That's good. I didn't know that. Okay. I can make you jewelry. All right, actually, uh, I have some time left in the day. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to see if I can make more jewelry before she leaves. Oh my god, this is good. Back to the home. I can make jewelry over here at my jeweler's desk. Let's just see what I need. Jewelry? Jewelry! I need a diamond, uh, gold jewelry details, and faith. That's how we make jewelry. I have a diamond that's in the basement. I can make gold jewelry details. I just need faith. I just need faith, trust, and pixie, du pixie dust. There we go. All right. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to grab my faith. I'm going to grab my diamonds. Let's grab a diamond or two. Take a couple. Take a couple of those. And I need my faith. So let's go get my faith. I'll take, uh, I think I need four of it in total. I'll try to be as exact as possible. Maybe I can even... If I can sell jewelry... Oh my god, that'll totally be the way. Oh, that would be great. One, two, three, four. I'll take a little bit extra just in case. Teleport back to the dead horse. Oh, this may be... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I needed to craft it first. Oh, well. That was dumb. That was silly. All right, go back. <laughs> so no! Go back! All right, go back in here, and hopefully I can... I can snuff this out before the end of the night. I think Miss Charm... Hangs around for a little bit. Maybe. Be helpful if she do. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, but she'll hopefully stick around. Maybe? It depends on how long it takes for me to make this jewelry. I hope it doesn't take very long. That mistake might have... Might have cost me. Alright, let's do gold jewelry details. Oh, it's gonna take so long. 
That's okay. I am a mighty craftsman. I will get my work done before dark. I believe in myself. Oh, and my chair is now. I must have flicked the, the lever on the bottom of my chair to make it go backwards. Gold jewelry details and jewelry. Let's make jewelry. I hopefully only needed one of those. Nice. Now go to the dead horse. Dead horse. Hi there. You still here? Nice. Here's some jewelry. Well, that looks nice. The design is so fresh. I can definitely sell a lot of them to the noble ladies in the town. What about promoting my company? Oh, sure. I'll tell everyone about your vegetables, too. Yes. So I can trade you jewelry now. But you don't have a lot on you. Interesting. Maybe that means that I can sell jewelry to the the dude now. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I can create perfume? Interesting. Will you talk to me now? No. Will you talk to me now? Okay. Excuse me. All right. So I'll go back to the... Actually, if this is a method to make money, like a lot of money, I'm going for it. I'm going to go back home and I'm going to make me some jewelry. I've got gold. I can always get more gold. I can... I have diamonds. I can probably always get more diamonds, although games like Minecraft would argue against... No, no, well, Minecraft is an infinite world. I can get as much diamonds as I want to. Just about how much patience I want to put in to dig for it. Oh. Got a little piece of lemon pulp in my drink there. Still very tasty, even now. That's the thing about... I think mocktails don't have as much as an ev of an evolution as a lot of cocktails I've had. Um, I can be biased there. I haven't done a lot of mocktail work. And there's not a lot of, like, botanical, like, non-alcoholic spirits that I've found. Um, so I'm probably just biased. I just lack that perspective. But so far, as I'm drinking this particular mocktail, the flavor's not changing very much. Which actually works for it. Because it's not, like, it's not doing a lot. Not crazy. It tastes just as good as it did when I first mixed it. Which I, I think has some merit to it. I like that. Let's do a couple of... Let's do some more steel parts. I need some steel ingots, so I'll make a bit of steel ingot. Let's get that fired up. I'll make as much uh, jewelry detail as I can. It's going to take me a hot minute, and I'm not very... I'm not a trained jeweler. Although, actually, hold on. I have technologies for that, don't I? Is it over here? Can I become a jeweler? Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. I have a nose for gems, so you'll find them more often. So that's not what I was thinking of. Scent of gold... I can find more precious metals if I had more of that. Uh, smithing? Swordmaster? No. Yeah, I think I got all that stuff. I think I'm already a jeweler, so to speak. I don't remember what those... What my perks are. And I don't have a very easy way of seeing that. You can, like... You can go into your menu, and you can see, like, what your perks are, but you can't get a full list of them, at least on controller. There's probably a way to do it. I don't know what it is. I'm working on that. Excuse me. I should have put my should have put my drink on a coaster. It's kind of sweating all over the place. <laughs> Whoops. But it's great. Honestly, as it's watered down, I have found that the um the fact that so it was mixed with lemon juice and egg white and grenadine and lemonade. And as it waters down, the the grenadine, I put a lot of grenadine in this thing just to make it look red. It it evens out. It mellows out. And I, I think that's a good thing. I like it when it's not too overpowering on the flavors so i'm into that i'm gonna create some firewood if i don't already have so i need some something to burn in my house firewood can i make firewood over here on the saw thing can't make firewood here uh here can i make firewood nope make wood markers nope how about this uh, there we go firewood and apparently i can use these things over there for firewood i can recycle which is good for that i need wood bullets to make more wood billets, I'll do this. I'll just get a ton of firewood. That's what I'll do. We eat some, drink some mead. Get a little, get a little tipsy. Not really. There's no tipsiness when you drink mead, which is an amazing thing. It's a, it's an amazing feat of science, to be honest, in this game. It's crazy. And I'll just make a shit ton of firewood. Eh, you never know. You never know when you might need more firewood. The world, the world could use more fire, more fire and flames, honestly. Nah, I'm, I, I'm all for that. If I can contribute to the more fire and flames of the world, I think I think that would make the world a better place. Um, although not with forest fires. No, no. Only controlled forest fires. So I guess that does include forest fires now that I think about it. Yeah. I'm contributing to the forest fires of the world. At least in part. 
In the Graveyard Keeper world, that is. Which, uh, I guess, that's... Mm, depends on who you ask. Someone say that's a good thing. Some people don't like the forests. Some people are, like, down with the forests. We don't need them. I like forests. I think... I think we could all benefit from forests. I'm okay with forests. I'm gonna fill this thing up to the brim. Might as well. I will never run out of fuel. I wonder if there's, like, a maximum. Can I, like, overflow? I wonder. There we go. Oh, there was actually a status bar for a hot second there. I don't know if that was a glitch or not. And I could take the rest of this. Put this over here. Put the firewood in there. Gotcha. Cook up. I'm gonna cook up some. I got some meat here. And I need meat for my burgies, right? I need meat for my burgers? Meat for my burgers? Yeah, I need cooked meat for my burgers. And I got plenty of onions. So let's make cooked meat. Where to cook meat at? Cook meat? Cook meat? Cook meat? Cook meat. Cook all the meat. There we go. That's plenty. That's perfect. I made some more steel, which means I can make some more steel parts. Excuse me. And I had just enough bowls for the job, too. That doesn't look like it's going to take super duper long. I'm wondering if I'll be able to sell the jewelry. Oh, well, you know what? No harm. No harm in that. I'll let that go, and I'll take all of my wine with me so I can sell that. And then I'll come back for the rest of it. So I will come back down here eventually. Put some ingot in there. Just make some space in my inventory. Uh, I'll leave... I'll leave my mead down here. I'll come back for it. Take all the wine I can. There we go. Oh, I can take some mead with me. That's fine. Take that back with me. And so then what I'll do is I'll see if I can sell the jewelry that I currently have to the merchant. And I'll see if I can sell... If not, I'll try to sell it to Miss Charm. Um... And I'll walk, actually. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk... Oh, actually, you know... Okay. So what I should do is I should harvest all these crops while I can, and then I'll sell them on the way. So I'll put all my wine over here. Harvest all these. The gold star uh, onions, I think? Gold and silver star onions. Gold and silver star pumpkins I can sell as well. So I want those. If they're, if they're ready, that is. And then I can sell those. I can put them in the boxes up there. I don't think I left my flitches in the basement. Be sad if I did. Let's try to see if I can plant any of these. I got a lot of gold star onions, which is great. Exactly what I was hoping for. Hopefully I don't run out of that anytime soon. Need some more of that. Put some of that there. There we go. More inventory space. More of that. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. I can get more cabbage. Um, plant that. More cabbage. I could probably get more onions. There we go. Oh, and I'm out of energy. There we go. Drink some more. There we go. This, if if this works out the way that I think it will, then it's very possible that I might actually get there. It depends on how much the jewelry sells for, but this might be it. This might be what I'm looking for. And if it is, then awesome. This might be it. Plant my carrots there. All the carrots that I got. All the carrots that I got. Uh, not enough. Sweets. I know I can sell my grain. I think this will be it for now. Drop the crop waste. I'll, I won't take the beets. Oh, but I need more inventory space. All right, time to do a little bit of inventory management. I am going to take the wine. Then I'm going to put a burger in there. Take the wine. Then put some meat in there. Take the wine. Put my beer in there. Take the wine. There we go. Now I've got some things. I guess I could have managed it over here. Let's see. What can I... Anything? Anything I can fill up? Uh, pumpkins! That's good. Why did I do that? That's fine. You don't need any of that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, come on. Craft. I screwed up my cube. There we go. I need the pumpkins. The pumpkins. There we go. Pumpkins. Send that over. Do I have anything else that I can fill up? I don't have enough anything else. Alright, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure I have more of them. That is fine. Alright, so I'm going to walk my way past the grainer guy, the greenery, the greener guy, the farmer, the farmer and the greener guy. I'm going to sell most of my crops. I don't need it. I don't need any more seeds recently. Oh, another body's coming by. That's cool. It'd be really awesome if you had a dark heart. Just saying. If you got a dark heart. I appreciate that. I would very much appreciate that. We'll go down here. Talk to the farmer. Who's still hanging? That's good. That's good. I like that. What can I sell to you? All this stuff? Take it. Uh, put it all. Put it all in there. Please just put all. There we go. Put all the cabbages in there. 
put most of my carrots, except for 10. I need 10 for the next round. So 45. Finish offer. I got three silver for that. That's amazing. What a deal. What a deal that was. It's great. Thank you. What a steal. I'm going to try to convert my grain into... I'm going to convert my stuff into grain. Use the mill. I don't have any wheat on me. Oh. I thought I got wheat. Apparently I didn't. That's fine. I will teleport myself to the dead horse to see if I can talk to the dude down here. Sell all my wine. I have so much wine on me. We have Miss Charm support. Oh, good. I've talked to Miss Charm. She'll take care of the head of the Royal Council. Oh my god. What? Oh, it's nice. Task completed. Story. Nice. Take the salty fork. Trade with you. Here. Take- Oh my god, I can sell diamonds for- Oh my god, for straight up silver? Oh, but I can sell this for 75! Yo! Oh, we've unlocked it. This is how to do it. This is how- This is how you become arist an aristocrat. You sell precious metals and gems. Oh my god. I'm getting almost two gold for this whole order. I've cracked it. Oh my god. This is how to- This is the get rich quick scheme. This is how we do it. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, this is great. How much would it be if I sold all of my diamonds? Only a gold? Not worth it. I could get so much more. Oh, this is excellent. I could kiss you, merchant. I will not. I will not make contact with you. The beard would get in the way. Or maybe it would make the experiment experience even more appealing. I can't talk to you yet. Can't talk to you yet. Do you have anything new for me? Yeah, 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 no. Okay. Um, so I need to become an aristocrat in order to talk to Miss Charm in order to advance the astrologer line. That's what I was doing there. And I'm not an aristocrat yet. I don't think. Not from that, certainly. Um, as you leave... Oh, everything was just sold. Excellent. I'll take that. 54 silver! Yeah, this is great! We're finally gonna become a- uh, That's my goal tonight. My goal tonight is to become an aristocrat. I think it's within my grasp. I just need to- I just need to prioritize the- the gems. That's what I need to do. I have a goal now. Oh my god, I am so into this. Okay, okay, I actually- This is so- this is how it's gonna be. I am a jeweler now. That's what it is. I am earning money, and the way that I do so is this. I am becoming an aristocrat. A story of a man and his jewels. This is me. I am the man. I am with jewels. I have it. Also, I just realized apparently my tags reset, so I'm gonna change that while I'm at it. Adjusting my Twitch tags. Adjusted things up. I'm inspired. Therefore, I must keep with it. I love this. This is great. Oh, this is excellent. Excellent indeed. Why don't you click the button? Silly Twitch. There we go. My Surf, my Microsoft Surface, of which I do most of my stream management on, aside from OBS and whatnot, from the Twitch dashboard, has got a lot. It's got a lot going on. My surface cannot handle it. It's very, very disappointing, honestly. Oh, got all the baked meat, which means I will keep the baked meat. I will stockpile that until I'm ready to be able to talk to the Inquisitor again and make things happen. Got most of your parts. While I'm at it, I might as well make a little bit more steel. Oh, I, ha I need some wood. Luckily, I've got plenty. Although you need more wood for a furnace, it seems. That makes a lot of sense. So I'll get a bit more... I'll make a bunch of steel. That's fine. It's a process throughout the week. Uh, now that I have more of those parts, I can create more gold jewelry details. I will work on that. I will create more jewelry. And that'll be great. It's very exciting. It's very, very exciting indeed. I am like... I have, I have tried... So, I feel like I've tried a number of things. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I'm a very dense individual. I have, I have mentioned that before. I stick with that statement. I don't get things instantly. I don't get things early. I don't th get things often. I have to think about things, or somebody has to remind me. Or something has to happen to trigger my brain to process things in the simplest way possible. If you think about it, what is worth money? Gold. What is, what can you make gold into? Earrings. What can you make those earrings into? Jewelry. So if I can sell, if logic would state, if I can sell the gold, 
I might be able to sell the jewelry and the earrings or whatever builds up to it. And that logic worked out. Although it wasn't until somebody literally asked me, somebody in the game literally just asked me, can you bring me jewelry? Hey, I think I can sell this. Did it finally click for me? And wow. In moments like these, I feel like an idiot. But it took us a while to get here. But it was organic. I think if there's one merit of it all, we got here organically. And I think that adds some content. I think. And it was fun to get here too. There were It's not like we were just twiddling our thumbs either. We were doing stuff along the way as well. There were other goals that we were working on. Other than just attempting to get money. The graveyard has a bunch of bodies in it now. And now that I don't have to fit, now that I don't necessarily have to figure out the prioritizing on money stuff anymore, I can focus on creating a bunch of gravestones and making my graveyard look pretty. I can totally foresee this episode being about Gibby coming in an aristocrat uh, and talking to Miss Charm and potentially uh, progressing the astrologer line. The next stream to be about um, making the graveyard look pretty. Uh, and then we'll see what else goes from there, honestly. I, uh, we'll have to see, but I think that seems like a pretty good progression. I know there's six items that you need to beat the game, or not maybe not beat the game, but to exit the portal. I plan to at least play this until I exit the portal. That's my goal. Excuse me. I know there's some DLC, but I think what I want to do is I want to save the DLC for another time. That's that's what I think I'm going to do there. If I, if I wind up running into the DLC... Like, if I, if I stumble upon the quest line for the DLC, I will start it. I will not prevent myself from doing so. However, for this particular playthrough, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make, get to the portal. That's what my plan is. And then eventually, I'll probably come back to it. I love this game. Maybe I'll even play it a bit in my free time and work my way, like, I'll grind my way up to it. I don't know yet. We shall see. Wow, still takes a long time. Ouch. Still takes a really long time. That's okay. I have a story I should drop off downstairs. What was I doing? Jewelry details. So I'm waiting on this to be able to do more jewelry detail stuff. That's fine. Actually, I haven't talked to Snake in a hot minute. Do you still need me to do whatever it is you do? Oh, you need the dark heart. That's where you're on. You require the dark heart. And I know I just had a couple of bodies come in. So if one of them has a dark heart, you can make progress down that path too. And from Snake, we get the infinity book. Whatever it is. I don't know. The never ending story. I don't know. There's nothing in there. Sad. What about in here? You got something in there? Nah. That's okay. You're not very... I don't really like your bodies anyway. Your bodies do not appeal to me. I'll put you in there. Put some carrots outside for the donker. The donkey badonka donk. Donka donk. Need some of that? Yeah, you do. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's go talk to Snake. No. There's no need to talk to Snake. He needs the heart. I know he does. Now I wonder, now that I've unlocked dark organs, is there a way to craft them? Can I like create a dark organ? Is that a thing? Because if I can, then that feels like a good trick so that I don't have to wait for this. Uh, can I craft you? Preparation place and preparation place two. This is a preparation place, is it not? I don't know, is that a preparation place? It looks like a preparation place. Right? Right? Yeah, it's a preparation place. So now, does it appear that I can keep them like that? Fridge pallet? Oh, fridge pallet. What's that more? Oh, I have a mortuary rack. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna stay. I just gotta keep on waiting. It's a process. Patience, my friends. Patience. Patience rewards those who are patient, I guess. Probably. I'll take that. Alright. I can hear somebody talking outside my door. I wonder what they're talking about. I'm gonna take all these brains. I don't think- I'm gonna leave at least one of each dark organ. Um, because I feel like it might be useful. I don't know. Got no rhyme or reason behind that. I think keeping them there might be useful. And I want to free up some space over here. I don't need more intestines. This is fine. I'll- I'll liquefy them. I think they become liquid, right? Uh, brains become a paste. Intestines become a powder. Alright, I dig that. Uh, intestine? Intestine. There we go. Put it in there. Get it working. And I will drink. Because I need more energy. Life powder! Yeah, they become life powder. I remember that. 
And then the other ones become death powder. Oh, life and death. Oh, duh. How has that never clicked for me? That makes a lot of sense. And I already have a ton of brains in here. This is great. I've already prepared myself for such activity. Nice. All right. More solution. More powder. I've got the solution for you. Solution right here. Actually, you know, it actually sounds like my fiance's voice. Oh, maybe she's probably talking on the phone outside because uh, it might be noisy. Or maybe she's already home. Nah, she never came in through the door. I didn't hear the door open. I would have heard the door open. Actually, y'all probably would have heard the door open as well. That makes sense. It's usually, it's not, um, it's a small place. We, we hear things that happen around here. I'm going to research one of these things. I haven't researched it yet. Anything else I haven't researched? It'd be really cool. Uh, paper is not researchable. Yeah. Done a lot of research so far. Honestly. Put some of my... I might as well do some organization. Put some in here. I can keep the nails on me for the crops and stuff. Faith doesn't need to be in my inventory. Neither does the, um, the prayer either. I don't need... Specifically all these colored paint. I have recipes for the paint. I don't need to keep the paint there. I will keep the faith on me because I use that. Um, and put the prayer away. Yeah, I don't need these paints. I can destroy these paints. If I need the paint, I can make more paint. That's that's very easy. That's not very difficult to do. I'll keep all my jewelry on me. I think I'll need a little bit more jewelry to be able to do more jewelry details. If it's already up there. Um, so let's grab that. Oh, I have some more meat in here. Excellent. I'll take the steel upstairs. Oh, I didn't realize I had some of that down here. Cool. Take more diamonds with me. I'm gonna use all my diamonds. This is all... That's the thing. I'm using a lot of material. So, that's kinda... That could be a little difficult. But, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. I'll put my steel away. Check that body that came. I'll do a little bit of farm work. Wait till next week. Do more stuff. I got some beets here. Let me grab these beets. Grab these beets. Plant those beets. Beat those beats, destroy those beats, absolutely destroy these beats. Literally beat them up. Literally. Put these wheat seeds away. Put these away. Put this away. I can go grab. I'm gonna go grab some of the wheat from downstairs because I really I haven't been making beer. Actually, you know what? No, I'll keep the of the wheat that it, the wheat that is down there. I will keep it there. I will just sell the rest of it. And I will. Not sell anything just yet. I'll wait till the next harvest, perhaps. See if I can put some more things together. I can put some boxes of vegetables. I like to sell my veggies. Eat your veggies. Grow up real strong. Go out and punch evil doers. If you eat your spinach like Popeye the Sailor Man, you may be able to take down the local thugs. I wouldn't bet on it, though. That doesn't seem like a bet in your favor. Dark? Dark brain. All right. I like that. You have a lot of... You got a lot of darkness going on there. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll take that. We take those. I will take that. I like it. I'll take that out of you. Oh, I understand. The fact that the dark brain is in there gives me the opportunity for more without taking them away. Uh, I didn't like that, actually. Wait, put that back, actually. I think I kind of want that there. Because I've got six there. So if I just take away something that... This doesn't really work out. What can I do to take away... So that has pluses. That subtracts one, so I want to keep the skull in there. What has plus? This subtracts. So take out blood. That will improve it. If I did that correctly. Yep, now we got seven and three. Um, this adds a skull and removes a thing. So that'll make them more evil. That'll make them more evil. Make them more evil. That adds a bunch, so keep that there. That adds a bunch. Adds some darkness, so I'd be less evil if I take this out. Because what that will do... No, no, no. That'll take away two of my whites. Yeah, that will make things better. Yeah, I think this is, this is as good as this body gets. So I, I take this body and I'm put it in the ground, preparing it for whatever tomb it may have next time. I think, really, if I take a solid stream just to make a bunch of like fancy rails for these guys, these guys in the graves, I think I'd be just fine. 
yeah, honestly, I think that's really all I need to do because I got plenty of things going on here. A lot of them are a little, a little dark, to be honest there. I honestly, these guys I can optimize on. I can remove these guys and do different stuff with them. I don't really feel like it right now. Aristocrat, aristocrat. Yeah, I'm already an arist I'm still an aristocrat. Uh, not an aristocrat yet. I still need to spend money on that. Sad boy. Sad boy time. But that's good. Now I see the merit in potentially keeping the dark organs around. That makes sense. That's so upward facing day now. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to go take a rest. And then I'll see if I can talk more to the Inquisitor. It's actually quite interesting. I know that the, um, let's see. The Inquisitor I'm at level 90 with. The Merchant I'm at level 90 with. Snake I'm at level 90 with. I am this close to three end game items. Which is basically halfway there. If I can get them all. Uh, so I think like... This is a very, very long built-up process, but I think it's all going to come together. I, I got the strangest feeling that within like a month's time, like within a single month, two streams, probably completed. But I haven't gotten one of them yet, and I currently have a block because of this cash stuff. But this might be the end of the block. This could be it. It's been a long, stubborn journey so far, but we're, we're, we're doing well, honestly. And then, you know, through it all, we're having fun, and we're doing things correctly, and I had fun. I think this is fun. I have about, excuse me, I have like hair in my face. It's getting up my nose. It's very bothersome. What I'll do is I'll go down to Witch Hill. Can I harvest anything down here? Nah, that's fine. Oh, I got carrots, though. Always good for carrots. Make my way up the hill and see if the Inquisitor needed something from last time. Hopefully, he will remind me. I'm tasting in my drink. All the grenadine kind of fell to the bottom, but it tastes good. Honestly, mixing some grenadine with a little bit of, like, club soda? Excellent. Mix the grenadine with Sprite, ginger ale, Coke. It's great. All right, what do I need? What do you need from me? Take the burning coal. But I can't take the burning coal yet. Something else is wrong. Oh, you know? I haven't talked to the bishop since last time. I'm going to talk to the bishop the next time. I think... That might be the, that may be the key. Maybe that's the key. That's probably it. I bet what I have to do is I have to talk to the bishop about his brother. Uh, back to Sweden. I'll probably get the I got the rest of the steel now. I can make more steel parts. Let's do. Oh, I need more bowls. And for more bowls, I need these things. Let's make more bowls. I'm gonna go mix up some bowls. Let's gonna do some pottery over here. Yeah. Go get him. Get a little bit of red points, a little bit of green points. Dude, remember when I struggled so hard to be able to get blue points? That was a stopping point for a while. There's like, the thing is about this game is that there's a lot of points that could stop you. Like if you don't keep on going, then there are points in this game where it will just like, it'll completely like stump you for a while. Like unlocking what sells for a lot because it is a lot of money to be able to come an aristocrat which makes sense aristocrats don't have chump change but it takes a lot to get there and if you don't know what to sell then you might miss out on that oh i don't have enough carrots yet they're not growed yet my onions are all grow oh they'll they'll probably grow real soon donkey i have no relationship with you i'd like to have a relationship with you but i know not how to accomplish that oh well Hey, buddy. You got a dark heart. That'd be cool. I know I keep saying it. I know I keep saying dark hearts. I wish for the evil in humanity. <sighs> That's fine. I'm gonna just leave you there. I'm not really worried about you. I'm not worried about you at all. I think... Astrologer's coming up today. I'm gonna go harvest my crops over here. See if I can put some more uh, things together. I'll go to my vineyard and I will... I'll probably do that as well. Go to my vineyard, uh, get all my hops and whatever. Seems that my carrots have just finished. That's good. That's very good. Plant these things down. Plant these things down. Do, 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 do. Nice. All this stuff. Don't need crop waste. It's a waste. Crop waste. Oh, I need space for other things. Let's put... I don't know why I have steel in here. I don't need steel. I put the steel away. 
Put the steel back in the chest. I do not require the steel right now. I know, you're working away. You're working away on those gears. That's good. I like that. Uh, get my gourds. Get my gourds, dude! Get my gourds. I'm gonna sell some of my cabbages. The cabbages really... I think I'll probably stop doing cabbages. This will be my last cabbage thing. I'm not gonna do cabbages anymore. There's like no money in cabbages. All the money is in the pumpkins. Pumpkins and onions. That's what people are really into. That's what they're vying for. That's what they want to buy. Pumpkins and onions. That's what they want. I don't need blood. I don't need blood. Destroy the blood. Uh, la 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 la. I don't even know what else I need. I need to figure out what I need. That's what I need. What I need is to figure out what I need. Oh, going to put that in there. Put the pumpkin seeds in there. Uh, I don't need the crop waste. Grab all the crop waste. Here. Dig up all the carrots. Then ditch the crop waste. Take the onions. Take those onions. There was a lot of onions there. Nice. Don't need the crop waste. Get rid of that. Yep, destroy it. Don't need that. Onions. Nice. Anything I can do about those onions? Not really. I will do a little bit of shifting. I'll put bowls, flitches, and faith in there. I will grab everything else over here. I think there was everything. Nope, I still don't have space for other things. Cabbage? Nope, not doing cabbages anymore. I will put the cabbage away. Put in the cabbage. Put in the pumpkin seeds. I will grab other seeds. Bring the seed to me. Thank you. Bring the seed to me, like that. Oh, I need to... Gotta replant my carrots. Put my carrot seeds away. And I'll take my other things back, which I don't seem to have face, space for. Take my faith. I can leave the bulls and the flitches in here. Oh. Oh. Put the seeds away. Take the flitches back. I'm gonna need more wood. Oh my goodness. The cost of doing business. On the bright side, tomorrow is Sunday. Which means I can pray. Which is a good thing. Get some more faith. Talk to my buddy Bishop. Bishop's a good guy. I like him. He's cool. Can I package anything up? No, I can't because I have no I have no flitches. Gotta get some wood. Gotta go do that instead. Come along now, pal. Come on. Oh, that tree's the bad tree. I don't like that tree. That tree just makes things difficult. Come on. Do it. Do the thing. Break it down. Break it down now, y'all. One hop this time. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Cha cha real smooth. And now, you've cha cha real smooth. Just consider for a moment how far you've come. Think about where you are in your life right now. You doing okay? If not, that's all right. It's okay to not be okay. That's an okay thing to feel. That's all good. You have permission. One of the things I learned recently is sometimes you just gotta give yourself permission to fail. Give yourself permission to not know. Give yourself permission to ask questions. Just give yourself permission to to thing. To do things. That's good. And I just noticed, I don't need those ge- Oh yeah, I do need those gears for the jewelry details. Alright, so I do, I do need to wait on that. Oh, it's Astrologer Day now. Okay. Whoops. That's fine. That's fine. No harm, no foul. Steel chisel, and I need lenses. Why do I need lenses for a steel chisel? Doesn't make sense to me. I don't know enough about the chisel making process to to inform me of why you would need a lens for a chisel. All right, box of veggies. There you go. More boxes of veggies. I don't think I had any uh, enough pumpkins, right? No, I don't have pumpkins. I wish I figured out lentils. I never figured out lentils. Don't don't know what's going on with lentils, to be honest. What's the deal with lentils? Are they worth money? Is it really worth the investment? I don't know. I don't know. You know what is worth the investment? Alcohol. I'm gonna go get my alcohol. Get my grapes. Get my grapes and my hops and my everything. Make things good. Feels real good. I got plenty of stuff over here. Honestly, I... My logic of what makes the most money followed the path of oh alcohol alcohol means makes the most money you can sell wine for a ton but to be perfectly honest unless you're making like the really really good wine this isn't french imports man this is this is just like your your local winery and honestly you don't drop a lot of money on your on your local vineyard honestly you get single bottles like maybe 12 bucks 
15? Somewhere in that 10 to 20 range? It's not a lot. do not need a lot of it. Put those in there. Pick up the rest of my stuff. I have plenty of grapes. I have a lot of grapes. There's too many grapes. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put this burial certificate in there, just for now. Oh, right there. Now I have hops. I forgot about that. Let's put the... There's no money in cabbages. Not, not for what I'm looking for. Let's do that. Do I still have... Yes, I have space. Uh, that's for the seeds, the hops. Put the seeds away. Epic. Now I can replant everything. And you are just like infinitely making more wine. And you are doing great. Oh, please go back. How you doing? Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Make them forever. Make them forever. Let's use some of that. Some of that. Whatever fertilizer I got. I'm not really focusing too much on the whole wine stuff now. I know how to do it. I've cracked that code. It's easy to do. Put some that in there. That's already gold star. Don't need to worry about it. That's fine. Put that there. It's gold star. It's silver star. It's fine. We can use some silver star wine. It's good actually to have some of the silver star wine every once in a while because in actuality, you if depending on what perks you have, you don't need... You can make gold star wine with silver star grape juice. You can. It's a thing that can happen. If you have the if you have the perks and if you got the perks you can do it oh i cannot go that way i have to go i'll just go around that's fine so what i'll do now is i'll go inside i'll process some of this alcohol stuff hopefully by the time that i'm done the steel parts will be finished and then i can just make as much jewelry as i want to we'll see about that how much juice can i make give me the juice i make the juice i make the juice for you I make the juice for anybody who wants really just ask me to make you juice. I'll make you juice. I love- I'm a little bit of host sometime. I like to give people the cocktail, give people the mocktail, and sometimes just juice in general. Lemonade, I guess isn't really a mocktail per se. It's not mocking any particular cocktail. It's just a, it's just a drink. You just make lemonade. I like making lemonade. Lemonade's easy. Make some sugar, lemon juice, water. Easy. Made some earlier as well, because the lemonade, the lemonade was actually an ingredient, so it actually made it easier. And shockingly, I actually didn't have a lot of Silver Star grapes to make Silver Star uh, grape pails of grape juice. Which is fine. That's fine. Like an 80% chance for a, a, a good one. That's fine. I can sell... I don't have anything for mead. I got hops dough. I don't have water. I need more water. I wish I could put like a... Be cool. It'd be pretty dope if I could put a fountain down here. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, I think what I'll do is I will sleep the night away. Sleep the night away in preparation for Sunday, where I can talk to the bishop. And um, will hopefully tell me more about his brother, the Inquisitor. Man, I hope so. Alright, sleep was good. Sleep was great. Sleep was awesome. All these steel parts are done. Um, it's still... It's still moon day, so I think I'm just gonna... Hone my craft. Make as much jewelry as I can, which will be a lot of it. So let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's make some jewelry. Actually, speaking of people who make jewelry, I was just thinking the other day about, um, I was talking to my fiance. We were talking about wedding stuff earlier. And so she was talking about how she really, really wants to design my wedding ring. Because I, I was the one with, you know, naturally her input of what I've collected over the seven years at the time of our relationship, um, I designed her engagement ring, which has like, a, I've shown it on stream before, it's a pink sapphire in the middle, um, two and tiny diamonds on either side that go along like the the ring part of the ring. Um, and some of those diamonds are pink, two of those diamonds are pink, and many of them are small. And they were actually uh, tiny diamonds that my mother gave me specifically to put in the ring for Anna. Um, Anna wants to have like one of those wedding rings that you fuse with the engagement ring after the ceremony is over. Sounds awesome. Um, and she kind of wants to, if she can, if we can help it, we want to put like little Mickey ears because there's a one pink sapphire in the center and we put on two, two ears, maybe also pink, maybe not. Uh, not so sure yet. We'd have to talk about it. She wants to design my wedding ring as well. She really likes the idea of like one of those wedding rings that's like, it looks like a vine wrapped around like the the, the helix style kind of like dna wrapped in on itself i'm not a big fan of that i uh, i was honest with her i was like i really don't like that because like personally the look of the vines the look of the dna or whatever the look of the infinity 
it feels like it's supposed to be like infinite and the whole like oh our love is infinite just feels so cliche to me and i don't really want that on my ring and she's like but i really really want to make it for you and i'm like i'd at least like to have my input on it i would like for that and i think we'll come to a point where we compromise on it i'm sure we will but i actually have we have a family friend that i got the engagement ring from and he did he did the engagement ring and eventually anna and i will approach him and we will say hey we'd like to figure out our wedding ring stuff now and uh, i don't know when that'll be uh, but i'm looking forward to it because uh i like it it's a uh, you know being like we're, we're actually like talking about like wedding stuff now like we're calling up venues we're visiting venues we're talking about like our decor and stuff over the weekend we also went out to uh uh, king of prussia and we went to like a bridal expo like we went to a place that was specifically for people to talk about like hey buy flowers from us or do your photography through us and it was like it was cool i mean i'm not the kind of person who gets like super overwhelmed with stuff like that but like i was like wow this is this is it we're actually planning for like a wedding and getting married and stuff and we were just talking the other day about how we got to you know, we gotta figure out things with the church because we're getting, uh, we're gonna have the ceremony in a chapel, in a Catholic chapel, and uh, we're gonna have the ceremony, uh, the the reception somewhere close by, hopefully. But it's just so interesting to think about that stuff and be able to like, really put like, so to speak, pen to paper on it. And uh, I haven't had much luck with calling places up. I tried calling places and they never called me back. But Anna calls them up, sends them emails, and she has an incredible amount of luck with that. It's actually, it's astounding. Uh, the the what she can do when she when she puts her mind to it and not not to say that she doesn't usually just it's amazing what she can do compared to what i can do she's much better at like planning things like that than i am i'm a very go with the flow kind of person i don't like to plan things out but if i have to i can but i don't usually opt for it to be honest let me go get my incense from downstairs i'll take a couple of things of incense one two thank you very much i'll do the gold one we're a prayer for donations we want donations thank you um, it was the incense, right? I have two incense burners. Good. Here we get incense. Incense plus two. Incense plus two. And that's all I need for this one. For this to succeed, I just need 50 cross points. And that's easy. The living is easy. I got 51. It's exactly what I need. It's exactly what I need indeed. I like to say a few words. Our church is great. It's awesome. Nice. And let us pray for the blessing. Thank you. Have, the, have your blessing. Now you can have your blessing needed too. Just kidding. You can unmute your blessing. Maybe that'll be a cocktail that I make in the future. I will call it the blessing. I don't know what'll be in it, but that's fine. Maybe we'll figure it out eventually. I would imagine a cocktail that I would call the blessing would have a yellow i can make it off of we can make it off of these faith things here you know what i can even call it we can even call it a graveyard keeper inspired cocktail drink you make a video game inspired drink i've always wanted to do that i have yet to make a video inspired game drink myself uh but i've always wanted to actually that's what that's what originally inspired me to watch the guy that i currently watch on youtube how to drink greg you're a great guy i i like i like your content um i was just watching you some today it was pretty awesome um but he was doing like video game drinks and that's how i found him it's awesome. I've learned a lot. Uh, so about the cathedral, can I talk to anything? No, I can't. Okay, so I guess I don't... I can't talk to you about what I want to. That's fine. You know who I haven't talked to in a while? The witch. Maybe the witch will have something new for me. That's a, it's just... Oh, there's so much going around and talking to people, and I don't know exactly who to talk to. Like, I don't know how to get that last ten friendship points for the inquisitor it's just like ugh i don't know who to talk to next i don't I, I, next i just don't know what's currently blocking me for that and i'm sure there's a guide on there somewhere it's definitely a guide on the internet i don't like to spoil that stuff for myself i like a more authentic experience unless like i'm really stuck on something in which case i will look it up or at least i'll try to clotho anything anything at all no i haven't i've unlocked your tier three stuff i can buy extracts from you and potions and whatever also buy recipe. Apparently, you have so much gold. What do I sell to you? I don't know what you buy. It's crazy. And I get, I get like a lot of, you know, I get a lot of silver now. So I think I'll actually buy an alchemy recipe and a bushberry sapling. I will buy 
bushberry saplings. That's what I'll do. I got... I'm not as stingy on my money anymore. What did I learn? Brown paint. Excellent. I could have figured out how to make brown paint on my own. Thanks. That was that was helpful. Thank you, Clotho. Now, I don't think... I don't think that the recipes only give you things that you don't know. I want to say they give you things that you know already, but perhaps they give you alternate ways of crafting it, potentially. Because I was thinking, if... I craft all of the paint recipes the way that I expect the, the 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 flow to go, then maybe I will get other recipes from them. I don't really know, honestly. I'd have to check on that. But I don't want to do that now. I'm, I'm focusing on money now. Hopefully this will be the money I get. Now, I can put berry bushes here if I want to, but I don't I don't need berry bushes. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Put the berry sapling there. I think who else I haven't talked to. I haven't talked to the Gypsy Baron in a while. Um, I could always try to talk to him since these new develop, but I haven't made much new developments to be honest. So I don't know if it would be worth my time to try to walk all over there. There's the one dude. Oh, I have no peat. Oh my god, I need to make more peat. Let's make more peat. For Pete's sake, I need more peat. Wow, didn't realize that the time has finally come. Interesting. All right, well I guess I'll have to wait on my next uh, my next shipment. Yeah, I gotta wait on that. Interesting. Nice. Did not realize that. Interesting. Get all my wheat. Take the wheat with me. And I'll come back. I'll be back. Actually, let's let's transform this. I'm not going to do cabbage seeds. I'm going to do... Onion seeds. More onions. Gotta make the cash. Gotta make the moolah. By doing whatever we can. I put all of my... I don't think I have any... Yeah, we're good. I was gonna say, making sure I don't have any vegetables in there that I could use otherwise. Give me... Can I sell anything yet? No, not yet. Alright, it'll have to wait. Uh, it's getting dark. Maybe I can make my way over to... I don't have any burial certificates. I don't need the crop... Actually, I do need the crop waste. I need the crop waste this time, because I'm trying to make more peat. If I don't save the crop waste, I won't get it. I will wait for the morning to go out and sell some stuff to the miller and to the farmer... Uh, we got one more day until downward facing. Uh, so I can talk to Miss Charm. If she has anything for me. If she's got anything else. What was her what was her thing? Obtain aristocrat papers. Yeah, I know. So let me think of it now. If if the jewelry sells for 75 gold uh, silver pieces a piece, I have eleven of them. I'm gonna do a little math. Um, there's a little bit of depreciation. So I'm gonna say. Let's say at an average of about 70 gold, uh, seventy silver pieces per jewelry item, I will earn 770 silver pieces. Right? Yeah, which divided by 100 would make 7 gold pieces. With 7 gold pieces, I will be able to buy the aristocrat papers. Which is great. So that means, so what I gotta wait for is I have... To wait until Merchant Day, sell all of my stuff, and then wait about another week for Miss Charm to come back. So I think, I think we have one more week rotation left in the stream. That's my, that's my, that's my promise. My promise, my promise is aristocrat. My goal is less than a week away. Well, in the meantime, let me think about other things that I'm working on. It's because I know I, I've got that. I've got it dead in my sight. I won't... I'll just let that go. I'll let that process. We, um... Did they get any more bodies? I haven't got any more bodies yet, I don't think. No. So wait on that. Because what, what are my blocks right now? My blocks are... I know that the Astrology gives me an item. The Inquisitor gives me an item. Snake does. The Merchant does. The Bishop does. And I think Miss Charm. Those might be the folks that I need to impress. In order to do so. Oh, and come to think of it, I just noticed these people are the only ones. Interesting. I just noticed those folks are the only people with certain days over their head. I just noticed that. Huh. I had never noticed that before. That's incredible. Somehow I didn't notice that. Nice. Alrighty then. Well, what are my blocks then? What I need is, I need to help the astrologer find a way. To find a way, I need to become an aristocrat. I need to get my level up with Miss Charm, 
Because if I get my level up with Miss Charm, then I can tell her that, hey, your dad's looking for you, and then Daddy can be like, oh my god, my lost daughter, I miss her so much. The Inquisitor is not saying anything right now. I don't exactly know why. I have a feeling the Inquisitor's not saying anything, because what I have to do is I have to increase my friendship with the Bishop to talk to him about something. The Merchant, I'm waiting for. I think... I don't remember what I gotta do for him yet. I gave him the dinners. I did that already. And Snake needs a dark heart. I'm close. I'm close in a couple different categories. We're making our way over. Slowly, but surely. I think what I'll do is I'm going to rest up for the night. I'll talk to the charm in the morning. That'll be good. I guess there's really no other... Aside from the graveyard... There's nothing else that much I can think of. And the best way for me to get more graveyard stuff, uh, to, get, to increase the quality of my graveyard, is to learn how to make, like, really, really nice gravestones. And so the way to do that, which I'll prioritize, is I will... Oh, I just noticed there's a bunch of fences over here. I should totally take those out of here. Eh, I don't need to do that right now. What I should do is I should research uh, these graveyard things, Greek grave monuments. This one looks beautiful. I could put statues in my graveyard. It's great. Love that. Love that indeed. Um, marble gravestones, not yet. I need the more blue for that. I know that I can create, get blue points by creating these gravestones. So if I have enough stone for it, then that should be, that should be easy. I'd really like to do marble ones because they add, let's see, the fence is three, this fence does four. It's, it's, it's good. Carved marble is the best though. But in the meantime, I've got stone ones. So I'll do stone ones. I don't have a lot of them right now, so I just need to do that. Wow, it is torrentially raining. I don't think I've seen that before. Nice. Where can I make uh, my fences? Can I make them over here? I can. And all I need to make a stone, stone grave fence too, I need polished bricks of stone. And regular stone. So to make more polished bricks of stone, I think I use just a chisel, right? That's all. How to make chisel, polished brick of stone. Polished brick of stone. I need stone. So basically what I need is, I need stone. So I am going to make my way up to the quarry. And that's exactly what I do. I'm going to make a bit of, going to make a bit of stone. Hi there, it is me, it is stone. Actually, you know, I haven't slept up here in a while. I don't know how to get that ghost back to me. That ghost never comes to visit me. It's sad. Oh, so sad. Can I increase, can I build this up over here? Oh, maybe, I just remembered. I have to build these torches. I never did that. I wonder if that does something for me. Hopefully I remember that at some time. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. Anyway, I got plenty of stone. Oh my god, plenty of stone. Holy crap, that's a lot of stone there. Nice. Not worried about that. I guess I will just kind of like... Move them on down. Move them on down, move them on down. There you go. There you go. There you go, 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 go. Put it on the pile now. Do the thing you do. Okay, that's that's too much. All right, well, let's make some... If I had a chisel, I could make polished bricks of stone up here. But really, I'm just in for... I'm just in for the stone. I'm in the stone. That's a song, I believe. That's in the stone. Spilled water on myself. Excuse me. Every once in a while, make a bit of a fool of myself. Make a bit of a mess. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. It happens all the time. I take the butt, I do it, but I do it all the time. I spill water on myself. Cause I'm a bit of a fool. With all this stone, I'm gonna rock your world. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, Cameron, no, no. I have enough for this, so I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. Uh, more meat. More meat. Oh, I... Too much stuff. Stuff. There we go. Get these things out of the way. Get these dirty rocks out of my way. I don't need your dirty rocks. Out of my way. Eventually, I'll have the marble power. But I don't have marble power yet. Get in there. Put it in there. Put it in there. Get it in there! Yeah, yeah! Get it in there! Yeah, yeah! Wobble, baby. 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 It was the kind of shit that I was dancing to back in high school. I think my tastes have refined. Although, to be honest, anytime like a song like that comes up from my from my younger years, I will 
like it on Spotify so that I can relive those experiences and my nostalgia. If I heard Wobble pop up in my Spotify feed, I would heart that in an instant because I, man, I could dance to that those songs. I was into it. I think I think I mentioned already, but a little a couple of weeks ago, I went down south, had a great time, went dancing for the first time, and it was such a joy. I'm just, I I need to do that again. I don't did not realize how much I totally totally missed just being able to like rock out. Oh, and you know what? I should talk to Miss Charm. I I forgot. I did not talk to Miss Charm. And it is getting towards the end of the day. I should at least say hello. You should say hello to your people every once in a while. They might miss you. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Give me my chisel. Polish bricks of stone. Polish bricks of stone. As many as I can. Oh, come on. Stop. Ah. Polish brick of stone, please. Polish brick of stone. Thank you. Polish brick of stone. Uh, infinite. Back. Back. All right. Ready? Teleport ready yet? All right. Go to the dead horse. Can I talk to you? No. How about you? Nope. How about you? Okay. Hey, you got something for me? I talk to your wife all the time. Nope. Okay. Not not that category. What about you? How, darling? I have some questions. I still have questions. Nope. Can't talk to you yet. Need those aristocrat papers. Alrighty then. Going back home then. There's nobody else that I could talk to in the town about it, right? I, I haven't talked to the blacksmith in a while. Maybe he's got some digs for me. I haven't talked to Adam in a while, the dude who does the pottery. To be honest, I don't think he has anything for me. Hey, buddy. Buddy. No, you got nothing. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate you. I don't know. Can I... A rusty pickaxe. I can research all of this stuff. I don't need it. I don't want it. Back to the sweet home. The body of his, a body has arrived. While it's still fresh, let's see if it's got a heart of interest. Looking for a heart of gold. Nah, looking for a heart of darkness. I don't like you. You're a stupid body. I'll burn you eventually. I'm too lazy to do so. Alright. Here you go. Dark brain. Excellent. Got a lot of darkness in you. I like that. We like people like you. Do I want your dark brain? No. I don't. I want... I want this. Take the blood out. I will do my surgeries on you. Now you are a better person than before. I will remove other things from you. This removes a red one. Um, so if I take it out, it'll be bad. You add ones, and you add those things as well. Honestly, you... I don't like you. Can I, like... I wonder. That takes away those things. So if I implant more skulls into you can i do that can i implant another skull into you there's no way no there's there's definitely no way i was like does that work does not does not work that way all right i'll leave you bigger fish to fry got some things to make uh, i'll get back to you eventually i'm not super not indexing on the the the, the agriculture right now instead i will just Polish stone till I can't go home no more. Just polish stone until the roosters sing that morning has come. Not enough resources. What are you referring to? Oh, I don't have a chisel anymore. All right. I will make another chisel. I need dowels. I have no dowels. Dowels? Well, I actually have no dowels. Um, can I make dowels? Make dowels from wood? Here we can. Got some sticks. I don't know why I keep calling- why do I keep calling them dowels? Well, they look like dowels. They look like- They look like these things. I have wooden dowels on my desk. I have a, a variety of things on my desk. Don't worry about it. Can I make dowels? No. I can't make dowels. Wow. I had- I had never considered how important a dowel might be for my collection. Oh, I didn't know that. Dowel? Nope, no dowel. Dowel? Nope, no dowels. Um, d dowel? Thank you for the dowel, stick. Whatever. You know what I mean. 
if you, if you do. If you don't, that's cool too. I'll make a bronze steel chisel. Why not? I don't know what it does for me. Can I still craft my things? Can I still craft these stones? No. What is even the point? I can make a carved piece of mar- Oh, I see. Oh! I see. I understand that. Okay. That's what you need the different level chisels for. Then there's absolutely no point in me having a bronze chisel. I still- Uh, this- That one. I don't need it. I do not need it. Instead, I should just make the gold one. Um, but now I need more dowels for my regular chisel. Blah. So sad. Too bad, so sad. It's merchant day, though, next. Which means good things are upon us. Uh, I see positivity in your future. I see riches in your future. Alright, let's make a chisel. I need more. Yum, 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 meads. Yum, yum, meads. Running out of energy? Yes, indeed. Alright. More rocks. More rocks. How many blue points do I get for that? A single one? Makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. How many carved pieces of stone do I have? So, polished bricks of stone. In order to make these... Uh, gravestone 2. That's uh, that's awesome. Stone... Excuse me. To make the stone grave fence 2. I said that right. I need this. Um, I don't know. I'll make 10 polished things of brickstone. Brickstone? Brickstone. I'll make 10 of them. I don't run out of energy. That's it for me. Alright. Uh, that's 9, I think. Right? That's... 8. I'm at 8. Excuse me. And then... Now we're at 10. And now I'm just gonna make a bunch of these things. I'll make a bunch of these. These guys. I'll make 10 in total. Nope, not that one. This one. Oh, I have 12? I don't know where I got that from. There we go. Now I'll go over here. Get rid of that. There we go. Get my piece of stone and chisel back. Thank you. Work, work, work. And I think these are one per inventory. So I'm just going to make them all. Put them down. Oh, I get more blue points for that. That's impressive. That's good. That is good to know. I'm running low on your resources. I'm going to eat these beets. Yum. Who needs to sell beet? Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up? Hi. Oh my god, I was so freaked out because the sound of the door opening sounded like a child screaming. Oh, someone was screaming downstairs at one point. Oh, really? Did you just get home? No, I've been outside talking to Nikki. That's, that's what I figured. I thought I heard your voice out there. Good, 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 good. Oh my god, yeah. Where's my lemonade? Oh, uh, in the, in the cooler. Yes. Yeah, it's a good one. It's good. It's a good one. Anna loves lemonade. No, 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 it's in the cooler. Oh, in the... Oh, no. Yeah, it's in the cooler. It's, uh, it might not be as cool as it was previously, but it's in the cooler. I promise that. Ooh, it's merchant day! Time to go sell all my jewelry and become a total badass! Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much money! Alright. Uh, let's, let's add things. You could be better. I don't care. Just put a, put a fence on there. Put a fence on there. Yeah, I think you'll- let me know how it is. I- I think you'll like it. Very sweet. Very sweet? Extremely sweet. Yeah. Is that good? I usually like it a little more tart. Oh, actually, okay. A little bit more tart. Like sour. Interesting. I feel that. I get that. I get that. I'll have to adjust my recipe that I totally didn't look up on the internet. How much sugar you put in this? How much sugar? Uh, a cup. A cup of sugar to a cup of, uh, lemon juice. Eat more beets. Now I gotta make my way to the town. Anna, I've cracked the code. Uh -huh. Apparently, chicks in the city dig jewelry. So, if I sell jewelry, I'll never go hungry. I thought you meant you cracked your code to get oh. the black heart. Oh, the merchant wants to talk to me. Oh my god, wait. Oh, he's got a shine in his eyes. Haha, oh. <laughs> my friend, everything went as I predicted. The position is mine. There are still some people who aren't happy with my assignment. Are they going to be a problem for you? Mm. Yes, I can't let me guard down. There's no way for me to establish my name. I never get to do anything in public. If only I can attend some public ceremony in my formal capacity as Keeper of the King's Kitchen. I'll need to wait for an opportunity like that. Until then, I just need to keep my head down and rely on business. 
New task. Help merchant attend a big ceremony in his new position. Okay. Don't know why I can help with that, but I'll try. Here, um... Buy all this. Oh my god, you only have five gold coins. No. No. I can't make the transaction. Oh no! I was so close! A body came by. That's crazy. I'm gonna sell some of my burgers. Oh. Is that enough? That only sells for copper? Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, but I have 12! <gasps> that's just enough? Thank you, sir! Mwah. I love you. I'm going home. Oh, I'm gonna become an aristocrat. I'm gonna become an aristocrat. I'm gonna flaunt my awesomeness around town. Look at my aristocratness. Look at me on my rings. Look at me in my rings. Look at these things. Those are the rings of a champion. The rings of an aristocrat. I really hope nothing blocks me from here because that would be sorely disappointing and totally uncalled for. Aristocrat, aristocrat, I'ma be an aristocrat. Bye. Yes! I have aristocrat papers. That's awesome. What can I do as an aristocrat? Absolutely nothing. But I got my papers. And in a solid week, I will be able to talk to Miss Charm about how aristocratic I am. Wow, what a journey. Oh, Jerry, what's up? Congratulations, Yora told me that you're an aristocrat now. Really? That's what it took for you to talk to me? I had to make more money? You asshole. Yes, but how did he know? He's a ghost. He haunts me. Well, he likes to follow you around. Just because you don't see him, that doesn't mean he isn't right beside you all of the time. Is he here right now? I bet he is. <laughs> Why the hell you gotta be so creepy? Maybe he's one of these dead bodies. Hey, I was wondering how to talk to Horyuk again. Nah, you're not useful to me. Unfortunate. All right, um... Yorick, is he around here, buddy? Maybe I need to go search around. Perchance he's hiding in my alchemy chamber. Maybe he's up near the the um the ritual center. I don't know. Oh, Yorick, where are you, my ghostly friend? Glad to know that I can talk to Jerry now, or at least I was able to talk to him at least one more time. That's cool. Nope, nothing over here. Yorick isn't hanging in the church chamber. Uh. My guy over here. I haven't talked to Gunther in a while. Hey, buddy. Got anything news to me? Tell me about the resident. I already know. I already know how to do it. So I'm gonna, I don't remember which one's the second ingredient is blood. I know how to make it already, I thought. I thought? I thought I did. Nothing in there. Alright, well now... Now, all I need to do is just, uh... Wait until downward facing day. I need to wait a week. Um, I think I'll probably skip through most of it. I'm getting kind of tired over here. It's almost close to 11 o'clock. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. If I can find more things to, to do. I got uh, My graveyard is getting better. Like that. Like that indeed. Do I know how to make zombie thing yet? Uh, I thought I did. You know what? Let's learn how to make zombie juice. I'm going to remember. I'm going to go back up to Gunter and ask him about how to make zombie juice again. Because apparently he hit his, does nothing... He says nothing to me except for how to make it. I have made it before. At least I thought I did. Um, maybe I was incorrect about that. Not exactly sure. Um, excuse me as I adjust myself in my chair. I'm going to be perfectly honest. My chair is not comfy. My chair is good for my back, but it's not comfortable. I'd like to, I'd like to do something better. First is some kind of powder. Don't remember. The second ingredient is blood. All right. Cool. It's uh, some kind of powder and then blood. Well, I got plenty of blood to play with. What kind of powder? Death powder? Probably life powder and blood, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it's gotta be life powder and blood. Because life, you know, bring life to the dead, the blood. Yeah. Makes sense. At least it makes sense to me. Let's see. If I mix... Do I have that yet? Do I have life powder and blood? I see death powder and blood. Uh, Alright, let's see. I want to craft something. Life powder and blood. Life powder. Life powder. And... Blood! Where's the blood at? I don't have any blood in here! Okay, I guess all my blood is way over here. I know I have blood. 
But how much blood? I thought I had a bunch of blood for stuff. Maybe I used it all. That'd be unfortunate. Blood? I have nine blood. That's that's good blood. Good blood. Blood is good. That is good for that is good for everything. Very good. Very good, very good. Alright. Blood and life powder. Let's see how that works. Life powder. Blood. Craft. Oil goo. Okay. Alright, uh, so not that kind of powder. How about... Uh... Well, gold powder and blood... Order power? Death powder? I know death powder and blood is a thing already. How about... Chaos powder and blood? I like that. That's cool. That sounds exciting. Anything? I made goo of death. Alright, I already know about the death powder and blood. Death powder and blood. Dark elixir. Got that. How about... How about... Uh, some kind of powder? How about toxic powder and blood? Death powder. I tried, just tried chaos. Life. Let's just go down the line. Toxic powder and blood. Seems a little... Seems a little counterintuitive to bring a zombie back to life, but I don't know. Or maybe it's supposed to be a three ingredient thing. Goo of health. Oh, you know. I don't have any... I don't have any powder of health. I don't have powder of health. Oh. Well, let me make some of that. I think I can make powder of health from something. I think the butterfly, maybe? Uh, butterfly, butterfly, but... Oh, let's just do this. Goo of health. Powder... Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Maybe I haven't made powder of health before. Let's do that. I need at least one powder of health. That's what I think what it's gonna go for. And I got two. Sweet. Excellent. Excellent. That makes sense. It is also green. That should have been a clear indicator. Health and blood. Makes. There we go. The zombie juice. Done make the zombie juice. I put all that stuff away. Don't need goo of death. Uh, blood I will keep somewhere else. Zombie juice. Nice. <laughs> the juice of the zombies. Tasty. Alright, well now that I have zombie juice, I'm gonna talk to Gunter about it. Maybe he'll tell me more. Maybe that'll unlock something. Maybe Gunter is another quest block that I didn't know about. Wouldn't be surprised. Would not be surprised in the least bit. Alright, come here. Come here, Gunty. I did your thing. Oh, okay. So, I have made... Alright, I made the zombie powder. The zombie juice. And you have no comments on it further. Maybe I gotta make a zombie. I'm trying to make it a zombie. I know how to make zombies. I got plenty of bodies. I got, I got plenty of bodies around here. I can make another zombie. It's easy. It's fun and easy to do. Take your body. Put it on a thing. I think the better the bodies are, the better they'll be. Maybe. A resurrection table, right? Uh, put it there. Yep. Go for it. Cha! Cool. A zombie. I'm gonna bring this to... I'm gonna bring Gunther a friend. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Like, you wanted me to resurrect somebody so badly, I'm gonna bring you my zombie. I'll bring it to you. You seem lonely over there. I will... I will... I will protect you. Maybe I can get Gunther off the wall if I put a zombie there in his place. That's always a possibility, I guess. Can I put zombies on these torture equipments? I wonder. I haven't tried that. Can I put you on? Nope. That's fine. Can I put you in a cage? I can't put you in this cage. Nope. I can't put you down here. Can I put you in there? Nope. Gunther, I have a friend for you. Can I put you over here? Can I open? Open with zombie? Nope. Just fine. Here. Talk. I'm literally holding a zombie. Tell me something. Ugh. That's your friend now. You take that and you love him. Hey, Snake, what's up? I think you just need a heart, right? I've got a dark... About the necklace, that's fine. About the ritual, that's fine. I've got a dark heart. I don't yet. Not yet. We'll get there eventually. Promise you I will. Can I build anything more down here? No. I can't. That's fine. I should go upstairs and I should sleep. I got some wine over here. I can sell the wine. God, I have so much... I had so much capital. I had the means for capital. I just need to wait until next time. I, I don't know what it is about. 
I don't know how to get him in the realm of the, the, the king. I don't know who I need to talk to next. But apparently what I need to do is I definitely need to talk to a bunch of people. Somebody's got to have a connection to the king. Somebody. And I feel like the bishop might be the one? Maybe? Or somebody else? Maybe the inquisitor? I don't really know. Maybe the inquisitor's the guy. I don't know. I'll talk to everybody I can. I'm so refreshed. I'm glad you are. Let's go. Um, oh, I have all these other uh, things over here. I'll increase my graveyard. Oh, what is all this shit in my inventory? I don't need goo. Don't need the goo. Um, Rose cat papers. I can't destroy those. Thank God. That'd be terrible. Um, and this... Uh, I don't need all of it. It's fine. I can always come back. That'll be the one that I research. All right, let's see. Dark heart? Oh, let's go. Well, he's still fresh. Let's see if he's got a dark heart. Come here, buddy. Buddy? Buddy with a dark heart? Maybe? Hey! Look at you! You got a dark heart! I'm so proud of you! That's great. I literally just missed Snake. You scoundrel. That makes me so sad. Alrighty then. That's fine. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. Yep, it's mine now. Take it. Take it. Snake is definitely going off home now. Unless maybe. Very well might be able to catch him. Come on. Maybe. Maybe. I am so... I am like... I can't even be angry. Like, that's what I get. Right? That's what I get. Snake? Snake you? Nah, you're totally gone already. It's basically upward-facing day already. Yep, it's Inquisitor time. Ugh. Oh. I will keep this dark heart in my inventory for when I see him next. Ugh. It's taking like two months to get this thing. <laughs> oh my god. On the bright side. Ugh. At least I wasn't sitting there complete. At least I wasn't doing anything. That's that's fine. You know, while I'm down here, let me let me research this fence. That should give me more blue points. There we go. Research the fence. Give it all you got. Excellent. Cannot be decomposed. Tons of blue points. I have over 100 now. That should be enough for the next one, I think. Maybe. Put the faith in there. Put the prayer in there. See if I can research more. Yeah, mobile gravestones. I can make a lantern, marble flagstones, and a stone prayer station. Oh, that's upgrading my church. I like that. Oh, I want to get closer to the gravestones, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this on these gravestones instead. Excuse me. So that's good. I can scan all the grave stuff. That will help me out considerably. And then eventually I can upgrade this guy over here to make a stone uh, thing. Apparently, my church has a marble aesthetic about it. Because apparently to get the most people to come in, to get the most points, I gotta do that. And it's shifting through her bag. That we spooked yet again by the unknown. Let's put a fence here. This is a good body. This is a very good body. Good body indeed. Let's put you on there. You're an okay body. You're fine. I don't need to put too much effort into you. Um, you, how about you? Eh, you're a pretty... You're an okay body. You're a good body. I like that. Yeah, put you in there. There you go. You're a good body. Nice. Alright. My graveyard is at 75 now. Significant improvement, I think. And I think if I go through and I change all these stuff up, I can... Make the graveyard, the grave stones better and whatnot. Um, you, can I research anything in here? I have more gold jewelry details. Didn't know that. Can I research any of these? No, it's fine. It's okay. No, no pressure. Let's go talk to the Inquisitor. Who's probably happy to receive me now. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's the guy to talk to about the king. Oh, wait, well, the Inquisitor has talked to the king before. That makes a lot of sense. Yo, 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 wait. So I bet... The Inquisitor has talked to the king before, I think, or at least had a uh, an audience with the royal peoples. So maybe maybe he's the person to talk to. I'll wait for you. I will run fast. Run fast and speak faster. Inquisitor, tell me about the king. Maybe. Hopefully. Potentially. I don't know. You're a noble man. People trust you. Oh, okay. I have to wait. That's fine. I'll look around and see this stuff. I can see... Upward facing day and downward facing day. Is that downward facing day? Oh, moon. Oh, claw day. Claw day and upward facing day. Wait. Is that significant? 
Claw Day is at 90. Upward Facing Day is at 90. But Snake is also at 90, so why wouldn't you be glowing? I... I wonder. Maybe this thing here is telling me something. Maybe what this is telling me is, in order to make progress on this quest, or I have to talk to the guy for this quest. Let me see about that. Where is the Inquisitor? Hi, bud. If you are the person to talk to about this, then that's great. Inquisitor? No, okay. That is not the case. All right. I thought maybe there was a connection there. Potentially. I can't talk to the guards or anything like that. All right, that's that's fine. Um, I don't know. Let's talk to the Astrologer. Maybe he's got some details. I got some time to kill. I'll make my way all the way over to the lighthouse and talk to the peeps over here. Oh, the astrologer's not here. Duh. I have to wait till tomorrow. I'll head on back, see if... Um, I don't know. I don't know who else to talk to. I'll just talk to whoever's on the way. The Gypsy Baron. Could talk to him. Could talk to Dig. Maybe Dig's had it, has it in with the king. No. All right, that's fine. That's all right. You just keep being your diggy all self. I dig that. I dig that. I'll talk to Gypsy Baron. Gypsy Baron, I think his camp is over here somewhere. I know there's another guy. There's like a dwarf dude or whatever. Or small guy. Kind of looks like a gnome who hangs about. I don't remember what his name is. But I know I've talked to him. I've run into him at least once. I don't know what his quests are, if any. Talk to you? Anything? Nope. Okay. It's fine. I think he is... Somewhere over in this forest, perhaps. Above the forest. There's a guard over here. He doesn't care about me. I'm an aristocrat now. What does that mean? Pass through the mountain forest. No entry is permitted. Oh, maybe with my aristocrat papers, can I go to the town yet? I'll try that. There's nobody over here that I could talk to, but I thought there was a guy that hangs out potentially down here, maybe? Uh, if I walk, if I walk, if I walk, will I find him? You. Hi there. No, you're not. You're not useful. You don't say anything. I don't like you. You give me a false sense of feeling like I'm doing stuff. I guess not. Well, you're not around here. Alright, well, it ain't over here. The dude that I'm trying to look for. Is he over here? No, I, I doubt. I doubt. Alright, I, I don't know. I don't really know. What about one of these guys down here? Would the engineer have it in with the king? Probably not. Can I talk to you guys about anything? I don't know. I, I don't like the fact that I have not had an opportunity to raise my points with these guys. Because I feel like there's a benefit there that I'm not... That I'm not reaping. I just don't know. Can't talk to Rosa either. You sell cheese and stuff. That's good. Butter? I don't know how to make this stuff. I should learn. If I can. Maybe there's somebody in the dead horse has information. Perhaps one of my guys at the tavern has it in with the king. Hello? Do you have it in with the king? Nope. Okay. Do you have it in with the king? Nope. Do you have it in with the king? Nope. Okay. Do you have it in with the king? You don't talk. Do you have it in with the king? Of course not. Why would you? Can I get into any of these rooms yet? I really feel like I should be able to get into these rooms. So unsatisfying. So unsatisfying. That's fine. Alright, well... I'm a guard in the dark! Good for you! I'm gonna try to see if I can go to the town. I don't think I can. Can I see your papers? I have papers. Path to this column is closed. You need a town pass. Alright. Sounds good. Don't have one of those. Makes me sad. Makes me very sad. What about you, Adam? Still nothing. If I buy your pottery, will you feel better? I'm gonna buy your I'm gonna buy all your pottery. I I wanna know. I'm gonna buy all of your pottery. Give me all your pottery. I'm gonna buy it all from you. I'm gonna ple completely buy you out of all your pottery to make you feel better. I want you to talk to me, Adam. Talk to me. Finish offer. Great. That's still not enough. How is it still not enough? Adam, my my guy, come on. You don't know what you're missing, man. Don't know what you're missing. Alright. That's fine. 
Because, like, I can't enter the house unless I have 40 with Adam, but I don't know how to talk to Adam. Ugh. It's fine. It's all right. Who, whose house is this? Nobody's. It's my house. That's whose house it is. It's my house now. I can go down there. Pull up water from the well. I can talk to... Nobody. Inquisitor. Hi, buddy. Goodbye. You're walking in the rain. I feel so bad for you. All right. I will. Didn't I have to talk to the farmer's son about something? Are you still outside? You probably shouldn't be. It's very dark out. No. Oh, buddy, you're going away. Can I talk to the farmer? Maybe you got it in with the king. No, you don't. Not unless I have 40 with the farmer. I have 10 with the farmer. Not helpful. All right, go back. Go back. Back to sweet home. All right, that's that's fine. Well, actually, the last time I saw... Actually, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to... If, if Yorick, the ghost, wants to talk to me... I think the last that I saw him was up in the quarry, so I'm going to go to the quarry. And honestly, I'm not actually that hankering to um, to, to do body stuff anymore because I found that dark heart. So that's good. Maybe I'll find another. Oh my god, look at that. Another dark heart. All right. Now I've got a spare. Love that. Love to see things like that work out. I'll keep that. I will keep that. And now I will make my way up to the quarry. I will sleep for the night. Maybe I'll talk to my ghost friend. He usually, the last time he haunted me was up here. So maybe he'll come visit me again. Come visit me again sometime. Maybe. Nope. No ghosty friend. Makes me sad. No ghosty friend. All right, back to the sweet home. And it's astrologer. Oh, night dearest. You know, just, please excuse me as I itch my nose. I should really get like something for this. I should get a handkerchief. I do have handkerchiefs. I should really use the. I should use a handkerchief. It's much more cleanly. I'm using my shirt. Oh my god, it's so it's so itchy. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, my nose is so itchy. I don't know why. All right. What now? What now, indeed? I. I'm going to talk to the astrologer. That's what I was doing. I'm going to talk to, go to the lighthouse, talk to the astrologer. Do you have anything for me? Nothing. Can I buy anything from you? I can apparently buy... I can buy great books. Yeah, you know, if I want blue points so, by, by, so badly, why don't I just buy books? Yeah, I should do that. I like that. I'm going to buy these books. I'm going to use these books. Nice. Nice. I gained blue points. Do I have enough blue points for anything else? Not for the ones I want, but that's good. Yeah, why didn't I just do that? And apparently, I can make those at a random text generator? Okay. That's something that I'm interested in now. So let's see what it takes to make a random text generator. And if a random text generator can actually create those books for me, then that might help me on the points front of things. Sweet, more wine. I'm gonna put all my wine away. I, I missed... I missed the day for it. So where to buy, where to make a random text generator? Uh, was it outside? It might have been outside. Let me see that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Random text generator? Can I put that outside? Chopping block, that. Paper press, wait, paper press? I, I don't have a paper press currently. Yes, I do. Just kidding. I have a paper press. All right. Uh, so I guess I can make it probably in the area down here. Let's see about that. What do we need for a random text generator? A zombie, perhaps? Actually, have I researched the random text generator? I don't know if I have, actually. Oh, random text generator. There we go. I researched the random text generator. Where do I build that? Where can I build that? Can I build it down here? Random text generator! Alright! Alchemy workbench, alchemy decomposer to automatically create reagents. That's cool. Scroll shelf. Nice. Uh, four planks, two complex, and ink. I need ink. Let's make some ink. Make some ink. How do I make ink? Ink is over here. I haven't missed that. No, surely. Ink. Oh, pen and ink. Oh, for that I need feathers. And for that I need to go to the town. Buy feathers. Oh my god, why did I do that? Ugh. Okay, I need planks, at least. So let me get the planks and the complex iron parts. Four planks. One, two, three, four. Complex iron. I only have one. Let's make some more. Complex. 
Not as complex as you may think. It's a misnomer. Not actually that complex. When you put your mind to it, anything's possible. Then I'll make my way to the town. Strugglingly. I'll just walk my way to the town. And then I can warp my way back. That'll be easy. Oh my goodness, my nose is itching again. Sorry. And then, I'm not really focusing on money right now. So I will move my... Actually, I have a zombie near Gunter. I'll go talk to Gunter. Or I'll go get the guy that's currently near Gunter. That's what I'll do. Now that I'm over here, I need to talk to you. What's her face to get feathers? Or there's a little... There's a little thing out front of this person's house that I can buy from, right? Over here. Yeah, I can buy feathers here. Shame. Shame that I can't make feathers my own. I can buy all the feathers. Give me all your feathers. You never know. And eggs. Why not? Let's buy some eggs. Then I'm sure warp home. I have all this money now. I don't even need to worry about it. Sweet home. Let's put some eggs in here. Now I got eggs. Sweet. Can I research that? I cannot research eggs. Can I research feathers? I cannot. Can I make any new things with eggs? More recipes. Pastry dough with the eggs. It's cool. What else with eggs? It's mostly pastry dough. Well, I have enough egg. Why? I have enough. Whoa. Words. How much pastry dough do I have, actually? I like 17 of that. That's that's fine. We don't... I don't need that. Let's go... Now that I have the feathers, I can make my ink. With the ink, I can make the text generator. And then I'll put a zombie there. So let me go grab my zombie friend, too. Go grab him. He's currently hanging with the guy who's chained to the wall. He doesn't want to come down. Honestly, I respect the hustle. If your thing is being chained to a wall, like this guy, and being alone... And that's fine. If that's what you want to do. That's fine. I mean, I don't. I don't remember how long Gunther said he's been there before. So, if he's been there a hot minute. I respect it. I respect it. All right, let's throw you over here. I don't know where to build you just yet, but apparently the random text generator goes somewhere. Oh, but I need the ink first. Lest we lest we forget, we need ink for a random text generator. Ink that apparently never runs out, and I can make three of it by sitting here. That's cool. All right, I have two. I don't need this many, but I have some. All right, random text generator. Let's do it. Where do I put it? I don't know. Let's put it right over here. Or actually, you know what? I got I got a little bit of space. A little bit of space right over here. I'll squeeze it in there. There we go. Random text generator. Like that. And a new body has come. That's wonderful. Nothing could be better than the day we're living right now. Pen and ink. Keep that there. I will collect you. Put a zombie here. Put. Craft. Craft. Book. Okay. So I can get random books or random stories with with paper. All I do is just put it in paper. That's cool. Do I not have a lot of paper right now? I have a bunch of pigskin. I thought I have bats. But I have a bunch of pigskin paper. So let's just make a, just make a shit ton of paper. I'm going to make a hundred pieces of paper. I'm just going to give them to the zombie. Write me a book. Write me a novel. Write me a story. I want you to write me as many books as possible. I don't need notes. I don't want anything like that. I want books. Knowledge books so I can get all the points I could possibly ask for. And more. Perhaps books that I never even realized that I needed in my life. While I do that, I'm going to grab a little snack. Still have some caramel chocolates on my desk. I'm going to snag one of those. Maybe a couple. I'm trying to, trying to write. I'm trying to make paper here while also unpacking my um, my things. Oh, it's a shame. I opened the chocolate container in a way that it doesn't actually open it. It just peels off pieces of the plastic. Hmm. Needs more energy. I'm like. I'm usually not a fan of milk chocolate. There's milk chocolate and caramel. I'm usually not a fan of that. But in the warm weather, it's great. I love warm weather chocolate. I like milk chocolate when it's a little warm, a little soft. The texture really gets it for me. I appreciate that greatly when it tastes like that. And honestly, that was so good. Oh my god, I'm gonna have another. I usually, I really, I usually do not eat sweets. And when it's the only snack on my desk, I spoil myself. Sometimes, sometimes you deserve to be spoiled. Spoil yourself.
All right. Make me books. Go for it. All right, sweet. Now he's doing books. That's great. I don't know how long it takes for you to take make books, but if you just keep on chugging away, I respect it. What else can I automate over here? I can do the, the decomposer. That's cool. It requires a couple of materials that I currently have right now. So I'm okay without it for now. Anything that I don't have. I have bookshelves, I have a scroll shelf. I don't think I have a printing press. I'll make a printing press. Uh, four simple, some nails, and planks. All right. Six boards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, four simple. And I think a set of nails. And I have a ton of paper. Oh, I actually didn't use a lot of paper. How did I not use a lot of paper? Wait. Oh, I guess I started one rest. Oh, I gotta keep the paper somewhere accessible. I, I forgot about that. I'll put the bowls in here. I'll take what I can to the nails. I think I can make 12 nails at once, right? Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly how many I need, I'm pretty sure. If I remembered correctly. Crossing my fingers. I probably did. Maybe not. Not sure. All right. Let's see now. Go back over here. Go ahead and make a little thing. I need to put the paper in a location where it's accessible to the zombie, or else no good will come of it. That was perfect. I had some extra paper in there. I didn't realize that. And now let's make, uh, whatever it was I was just about to make. Printing press. That was it. I'm gonna put you right here. Nope. Too thick. Oh, I'm gonna need to move things around, won't I? Alrighty then, where can you fit? Where could you fit if I put you there? Oh, I can rotate. Nope, that still doesn't help me. Shucks, okay. Where can I put you? I could put you over here, which means I can put that table. All right, I'll put the crafting table over over there. I will destroy that and make it anew. Uh, destroy uh, this guy. I don't know if I'll have enough space to continue moving through it though. Oh, this is a tough choice. I can always go up and around. I can torture that for a while. And that was a church workbench, I'm pretty sure, right? Or research table. I think it was the church workbench. Maybe. Got all these parts. Flitches. Great. Let's put... If that was what I was looking for. I think this is... I don't remember. Church workbench? Church workbench? Church workbench. Is there a church workbench too, by chance? No. Just regular church workbench. And for that, I need... Complex iron parts. Flitches. Uh, more nails than I currently have. So I need nails, complex, and flitches. So let's go back over here. Complex. I have some complex iron parts here. Excellent. Uh, more nails and more flitches. I probably had enough nails in my inventory. I just didn't use it. And more flitches. All right. Back downstairs. It's almost Sunday, too. It means we can pray to the Lord. You know, the whole, the whole thing for it. I wonder if there's anything that I could use, any prayers that may be applicable right now to what I'm currently working on. I'm currently working on time just to pass faster. There's really no, nothing else to do with I can meditate. I can do that. That's a thing I can do. I'll put my workbench over here. There we go. Then I can put my printing press over here. I'll put it like that. Hopefully that doesn't completely block the way of progress. Hope not. Alright, get it on. Bang and gong, get it on. Get it on. Bang and gong. Gong and gong. Gong, gong, gong. Bang and gong, gong, gong. Can I walk past this? I can, thank goodness. So what do you make a printing plus? Flyers. That's it? That's all? Alright. I dig it. Hey, you know, if that's... That's what... That's an easy way to get flyers. I'll take it. I don't need these ceramic jugs. I don't need all this rope. Not yet, at least. I got all these... Excuse me, all these bowls. I don't need the bowls down here, honestly. <clears throat> excuse me. Money. Faith. Prayer. Can I make a better prayer yet? What, did, what does it take to make a better prayer? I need better chapters. In order to make better chapters, I need better stories. How many good stories do I have? I have some silver ones. Uh, you know... 
Eh, I'm not into it. Eh, I'm, I'm not interested. I'll, I'll do a prayer for faith. Get some faith. I'll make better chapters eventually. That's not a goal for today. I go for another time. All right. And as I pray, I am going to completely gorge myself and eat another piece of chocolate. Because the longer that I keep this stuff on my desk... Actually, I guess there's really no... Be there's no detriment. There's no detriment to keeping this stuff on my desk. All right. That's three. I don't think I should eat any more. But my goodness, I want to. I for sure want to take... I want to eat more chocolate. But I'm not gonna... No more. I will not gorge myself like that much longer. It'd be too much. I'm trying to keep my form. I'm trying to keep my low weight. Can't do that if I gorge all the time. Well. What else can I grab? Is there anything else that I can craft? Maybe? Just trying to think of things to fill time. Or I can just meditate. Just meditate too. Yeah, I think that's what, I'll, that's what I'll do. I know of a couple more things to do. Know of a couple more uh, whatever. Actually, can I build anything more over here? Because I usually, I don't usually do that. Wooden anvil I have. Anvil, multiple anvils. Furnace three. I don't know what furnace I currently have. That's okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Potter's wheel, paper press. I got all that stuff. I think that's a furnace two. Oh, it's a furnace three. I have a furnace three. All right, sweet. All right, don't need to worry about that. All right. Now we shall meditate until the next day comes around. So, uh, we'll chat for a moment. What's going on, everybody? How's everything going? Highly considering gorging myself on more chocolate. Not going to. That would be naughty of me. Wouldn't be very cool. And in the meantime, what I'll do is I'm going to very quickly go fill up my water bottle. Because I have run low on water. You should always stay hydrated. That's what I'll do. Hydration time. Hopefully I don't meditate for too long. I wonder if I can still hear myself. Because I got myself a new microphone. And I don't know whether it picks me up particularly well from across the room. I don't know. Have to see about that. Hopefully I don't sleep past Charms Day. That'd be that'd be unfortunate if I meditate past that. That would be very unfortunate indeed. Oh, oh my god, it's the middle of the day. Alright. Yep, done with that. Time to go talk to the charm. Almost completely screwed that up. <laughs> that would be funny. Alright, charm? Look, all the ladies are hanging. Aristocrat. How can I help you? I'm an aristocrat. Give me... Give me Alyssa's paper. I can sign it. So you're an aristocrat now. That's right. I am. Nice. Hmm. I thought you'd be taller. It didn't make you handsome either. Hmm. You're my only friend. Can you help me one more time? What is it now, Miss Charm? I'm desperately in need of a new song. I was just going to sing my old hits. But I've been advised to perform something new as well. I can write some lyrics, but I'm not a poet. Help me, help me, please. My life is depends on it. Hmm. I might know a poet who could write you a new song for you. I'm gonna talk to the dude. Get the greatest love song ever. I have the perfect song. I know somebody. You, in particular. Miss Charm needs a song. Wagner, you have a once in a, one in a lifetime chance, my friend. Miss Charm needs a love song, but who but you could write it? Ooh, I'm excited. But what if I write a bad one? You're a smart and talented guy, just write about your feelings. No, I can't. I need extra inspiration. At university, the other students mentioned a legend that fly agaric infusion opens the floodgates of inspiration. The infusion should be made with a very strong alcohol. Okay, I'll try to make this infusion for you. I need booze, right? Oh, an infusion? Bring an infusion of fly... Fly agaric. Is that a mushroom? How do I make an infusion? I have no idea how to make that. How how in the world do you make that? Interesting. Well, I have things down here. Is there something I haven't made? Brewing stand, alcohol distiller. What can I craft in here? Anything? No. Can I make an infusion? Oh, infusion. There we go. I just need... Oh, all right. 
I just need mushrooms. And I'm pretty sure I have mushrooms upstairs. Oh my god, I wish I could... Oh my god, this is great. I'm gonna do that. Very quickly. Infusion. Easy. And then I'm gonna swip, go right back to the dead horse. I should be able to get the song. And then I can talk to Miss Charm. Hey, Wagner. Got your thing. Here's your infusion. Here you go, bud. Let me taste it. Oh, I feel so inspired. Now just give me a little time. Come back later, for now I must focus. Aw, oh, man. I gotta wait on that. Oh, that's so disappointing. Alright, well. I did promise that I would become an aristocrat. I am now an aristocrat. I am officially an aristocrat. And that is actually pretty cool. Finally made all the money that I could possibly desire. Which is good. And I think that's probably where I'll get it today. Um, the next time... The next time what we'll probably be able to do is we have a dark heart for Snake. We can give Snake a dark heart. Um, we just need to wait for Wagner. Which means we can get the song from his charm. Um, I signed Alyssa's papers. Actually, come to think of it, there's one more thing that I could poss possibly do. And it's talk to the farmer. Because it was the farmer who wanted the signature for Alyssa's papers, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what I think that's what it was. Or maybe it was the merchant. It was the merchant who needed. Let me go talk to I'm gonna talk to the farmer real quick. I think it might have been him to talk to. But I don't remember. Was it? Actually, I can pause and check this. I'll just go for it. I think he was the one who wanted it. Because I think Alyssa was uh, the farmer's son's girlfriend or something like that. I don't think I've ever seen Alyssa, to be honest. I don't know who Alyssa is related to. Oh, wait, no, that's the person that stands next to Miss Charm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't know. No, it wasn't you. All right, it, it was Miss Charm. Miss Charm needed it. Nobody else needed it. Just Miss Charm. All right, well, that's about all I've got. Thank you, everybody. This was fun. I enjoyed this. I cannot believe we actually made as much progress as we did today. If it weren't for the fact that we discovered that you can sell gold for a good amount of money, or you can sell jewelry for a good amount of money, I don't think we would have gotten to where we are today. So, for the power, the power of uh, commerce, it's good. It'll pull us through. That's great. Well, thank you, everybody, so much uh, for coming along. I think... Ooh, I just want to make sure... I hope everybody could still hear me. I don't remember if they can. I, I changed my microphone setups around. Hopefully you can. If you can't, I'm so sorry. Well, we'll make sure of that. Actually, let me check. Because OBS is weird like that. I changed my microphone Sweet. Yep, that's good. <laughs> We're fine. Everybody can still hear. OBS is being a little weird. But thank you, everybody, so much for coming along. It was a joy. It was great. Progress makes perfect. I love making progress. This has been an incredibly satisfying uh, session. Because, oh my god. I feel like I made enough progress today than i did in like the past two months in terms of attempting to like get money and whatnot so it was great and it was awesome and i can't wait to kind of blast forward in terms of progress next time we might be close to the end potentially i feel closer than i ever was before we'll see about that if you're going to sleep as well just like me have a wonderful evening have a great rest you deserve it you always do um, if it's a morning where you are, have a great rest of your day. Hope you had your coffee, your tea, your pick-me-up or whatever, so that the rest of your day goes swimmingly. And if it's the afternoon, somewhere in between, then somewhere in between the rest of the night and the energy of the morning. To you, my friends. Thank you so much for coming along. I appreciate it greatly. Party on until next time, y'all. Bye!